Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with SEK2, shall we? And I have a little visit to pay to this, uh, craftily hidden spider nest. Uh, but first, let me just double check one little thing. Was it here? No. Make sure the name and base is active. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, and I should probably fix the mods command. Whoops. Alright, so what have I got on me? Uh, I need jetpack, jetpack, and more jetpack. Actually, hmm. It's going to be such a short trip, I don't actually want to lose the energy that we've poured into this battery, laser, or roboport. So let's just head over there as quickly as possible. Or not quite as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible with only two jetpacks equipped. Where are we going exactly? Right about here. Alright, so like... 30 degrees up north from the east. Maybe 20. And we should be seeing it. Oh, 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 oh. I was still looking at the map. We are indeed seeing the biters now. I think... No, I hope that's the last of spider nests that are hidden within this territory. I know there's a worm or two somewhere, but I'm not terribly concerned by that. Let's go double check that uh, the solar panels up here have been... Defended. Fantastic. Get this stuff repaired. And make sure all of that is connected. Alright, cool. Um, I think I do have... I don't know, we might be okay at the north for a while. Um, but generally, I need to... Probably, especially down here, push the biters back a bit further... Um, but other than that, we're actually free to do some building for a while. We can hope. Alright, that should be way more than enough solar panels. It already was more than enough. Uh, let's head back. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Something I wish I could do... Oh, here we go. Um, something I wish I could do with the, like, Control-Alt-Click where we have a location pinged on the map is get these directional arrows just like when we mouse over the alerts. That would be very handy. Alright, we should have a ton of copper by now. We very much have a ton of copper by now. Cool. Um, we should probably do the same for iron next. The smelters don't necessarily have to be close together. Um, but I would like to lay out the grid as we go. I need to remove the, uh, whatchamacallit, the creep. Um, are we stepping on any mines yet? No, I think we're good. Oh, yeah. Raw, rare metals. I have to get that removed as soon as possible. Satellite discovered a new star. Fantastic. 
Michael, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How goes it? Yeah, not too bad. Just trying to sneak in some actual factory building in between all of this bite of murder. Uh, we do have quite a lot of science queued up, slowly ticking away upstairs. And I did get the uh, Grand Theft spaceship yesterday, so that's nice. Let's get this stone out of my inventory. Uh, I think I would like to... Where is it? Oh, it's actually empty. But I was going to say, maybe I should put some limits to how full we make these chests. Just so I can empty my inventory into them. Um, I want to get a whole lot of rail. Not to mention chain uh, rail signals. Mostly chain signals. Gimme gimme. Uh, rip inventory, I guess. We're not going to be lasering for a minute, so let's do this. That's still only like 1800 or 1600 rail or something. Um, let me get some more. In fact, give me as much as I can possibly carry. Um, get rid of the walls for now. Coal. Don't know why I have a space cap. I, I guess I do know why I have a space capsule. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Um, don't need another... I don't need 80 arithmetic combinators. All right, that should be fine for now. Give me more rail. That's a lot of rails, sweet, indeed. Hopefully you called it that. Hopefully I called it Grand Theft Spaceship. I could do that. I, I, I almost was gonna name it the Kestrel, but then if I redesign it, I'll probably feel sad. Um, really, the only thing to gain from redesigning it is if we lower the hull stress uh, so that we could get more fuel efficiency, but we're one science away from being able to produce our own ion stream anyway, so I don't really think it's worth worrying about. A fellow FTL enjoyer, indeed. I actually kind of like Into the Breach better, just because it doesn't have the bad RNG. Well, not just because. It, like, it's it's a good game in and of itself. But getting screwed randomly isn't really part of it. I like the, uh... I like the RNG in a game like Into the Breach, whereby... What are the bots doing? Oh, they're just taking ages to recharge. Okay. How about more RoboPorts, then? Did you play the expansion for it? Uh, I don't think so. Was that like a free download or uh, like a free update or was it DLC? Came out last month. Definitely didn't play it. I might even play it on stream. I quite like it. Yeah, I love Into the Breach. Uh, once you get good at it, most turns take like two seconds. But every once in a while you have a turn that you stare at for like 20 minutes or so. And the only randomness is, in my opinion, good randomness. It's, uh, you get variation on what you're going to face, uh, where the enemies are, stuff like that, but not, you know... 95% chance to hit complete miss at point blank XCOM kind of RNG. Which is a huge swing almost every time because missing a single shot is like a death sentence. Except for when you end up in a really bad 
position and the enemies miss every single shot and you sort of feel like you cheated only not. Been doing it a bit on the side, nice. New mechs, pilots, enemies, and mechanics? Hell yes. Can't wait. Won't spoil it for you? Thanks. Maybe I will stream... Like, maybe I'll do that blind on stream. If you try it, I'll watch. Alright, cool. I was going to say I will be a little rusty at Into the Breach to start with, but I don't think it's... I think relatively it's a game that you don't get rusty at. Oh, I didn't get signals, did I? Rip. Should probably get the wind turbines as well. I'll admit I'm a bit of a perfectionist with it. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think I remember playing... Like, I played a lot of it, um, and really pushed myself with uh, what I could manage with the difficulty, like, uh, hardest difficulty, random mechs, go, kind of thing. And I think you can generally finish it every time. Like, almost every time. It's pretty hard to get just kind of screwed out of being able to win, even with that kind of setting. If you know what you're doing. There was three last time you remember, yeah? Three... What, three mechs? Or what, what do you mean? Three pilots? Three... Difficulties. Uh, I think so. I need to go back for cliff explosives. We do have those properly automated. Fant Why are there only four of them? No grenades. No coal. Oh, I see what's happened here. Um... I wonder how that happened. Glad I checked. Alright, are we just about getting close to this iron mine? Not really. I've still got a lot of rail. Oh, my invent. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, yes. Burn it all. My inventory is looking a bit sad right now. Should I turn this into fuel? I'm very tempted. I don't see why not, actually. We're producing enough of it ourselves for military stuff. I don't tend to... overall produce military science that quickly. Fantastic. Uh, and I definitely want this juicy patch of iron to be the next thing we add to the rail block. Is there a universe where I should be doing, like... No, it's fine. I forget the term for it. Tumbling was doing this. Uh, where, like, he'd have a... He'd, he'd put only ores into, like, a big block that would produce all the way to science. I'm not quite thinking that far, but more like produce plate directly where we get the iron ore from. But then we lose the versatility of, like, upgrading to a different way of doing the smelting. Not to mention if there's anything else iron ore goes into, which I know there is. Plate, delivery cannon capsule doesn't count. Enriched iron. Hmm, it's just sulfuric acid. Oh, we can already do this. Sulfuric acid, water, and iron. Okay. 
Once I get things sorted... Wait, what? Advanced assembly machine can take iron ore and turn it straight into an iron beam? Lol. I wonder what the rate is like. Like, do you lose out compared to having more productivity steps? I would imagine yes. Fourth difficulty. Sounds pug. Uh, let's bring our... That seems pretty much perfect. Um, I will just not have anything in these blocks until we get rid of the iron. How many cliff explosives do we have already? That's not cliff explosives. Nine? It's a start. By the time I get back, we might have enough for everything up here. Hey, Rosal. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This uh, portable nuclear reactor really is a godsend for the early game. Well, early, relative term. Pretty early game uh, power armor stuff. I mean, we'd probably be fine with the solar panels instead, but this makes the combat stuff possible also. Alright, let's get rid of the creep. Get out of here. Inventory is crying again. Even distribution go. I almost said rate calculator. Did you make your rail blocks smaller? Yes, I did. Partly because I just want to try doing a few things differently this run. Partly because it's going to be a lot easier to, like, rebalance and store things with uh, just two cargo wagons. And partly because last playthrough... Uh, I mean, it happens if certain resources fall behind production, but production of various things, even when it was going smoothly, um, production was, like, really spiky because of how it happens in train loads. And I want it to be a bit less spiky this time. Okay, um, I need no trees or rocks. Get rid of this for now. Should have done that sooner. Is this the green chat? <laughs> yes, it is. George Shal uh, George Balza? La? Jaws Bells La. That trips my tongue every time. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, Iroyori. Welcome, welcome also. Thank you for the follow. Super green, indeed. Larius. Welcome, welcome also. And Combo Breaker. Up oh, for good. Good to see you again. Okay. Good morning to you as well. Uh, I don't think I have my drills on me because I put them away at some point because I'm always trying to empty my inventory for various reasons like space travel with space capsules. Oh, that's a lot of processed fuel. I don't think we'll be running out on this trip. Do I still have rail? I actually do. But I think we've made a path all the way up here already. Fantastic. I probably should... Remove this as well, though. Until we mine that. Um, how's our... Getting rid of our biomass going?
once that's done, I'll pick it all up and get going. I found the creep annoying to deal with in Crastorio. I'd slapped down a blueprint and it'd miss a vital power pole or something because I left a small amount of creep. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Back we go. That's not a lot of jetpack right now. Oh, away go the bots. Probably should have watched out for that. Have we lost anything lately? Uh, not for 39 minutes. Seems good. Seems I can get away with a bit of building. Creep capsules are your friend. Anti-creep capsules. Oh. Anti-creep? Anti-creep virus capsule? Oh, that's... That's not for at least five minutes. Vitalic acid, genetic data, fine imosite powder. Okay. Alright, I need to go get furnaces. How many furnaces is this? 24, so a bit more than one stack. Uh, I should probably get the drills first. Let's plan it out. With the... Do we have big drills yet? No. When do we get big drills? Uh, big mining drill. We need production science packs. Okay. So we're not a, we're not putting something off by not using them right now. Uh, let's go for... Why should I line this up? Probably with not too many lanes would be nice, but... Yeah, I think I'll do it east to west, and then we'll have the pickup over here. Uh, Delo... Delupc? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. With three combinators? I believe in T-Hacks he'll do it in seven minutes. Uh-oh. Technically the truth, at least five minutes. Yes. I forget what tech that's behind. Uh, yeah, it's prod signs. Um, ooh, we can have a bigger belt. Very tempting. No, not just very tempting, ex exquisitely tempting. Wait, was that what I thought it was? Oh, we... Yeah, no, no. We can't have this just yet. Railgun turret is only behind utility and production signs, surprisingly enough. Sounds kind of powerful. Um, let's get the rest of this rail dropped off. I love the speed buffed construction bots in the early game with Crastorio 2. Very nice. Uh, let's just pick these guys up, if only to save time. Never mind the energy. Verzo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Railgun, reach out and bunk someone. <laughs> Indeed. So we probably need like at least 20. Lift explosives, we've got 21. Fantastic. It is vanilla that they only stack to 20, right? I feel like I almost misremembered that. Alright, so we're looking for miners, smelters, uh, wind turbines. Signals, 
Way too much, actually. How about I do a request for them here? I still need to, like, organize this properly, but let's just hurry it up for now. Rail signals. Um, I need way more than this. Uh, miners. Let's make it a hundred for the moment. Furnaces. Two stacks. Wind turbines. Quite a lot, probably. And... If I'm gonna follow the same pattern as over here, we'll need a couple of warehouses. I'm told the large containers are bad for UPS, but I'm guessing it doesn't matter if they're full. Um, but I could do as small as a 2x2, two two so that we can have four inputs, four outputs, like this. Space exploration is like the overhaul, Crestorio is like Factorio Plus. I've played with some Crestorio before. I think Jaws I think Jaws's comment is probably accurate. Although we did also play with a bunch more mods besides that. Um Oh, how many <gasps> We've got 200 explosive rockets. Beautiful. Um I should definitely request the poison capsules as well. Where are they? 100. Do we not have those in the network? Or I just have to apply changes. Wait, what? Poison capsule? Apply changes. There it is. And I should probably... I'm not using the turret creep anymore, so slot 2 could definitely be poison capsules. Don't forget your cliff explodes, thank you. Uh, how about here? I almost typed cliff explodes. Two stacks for now. Um, and I should probably make it a bit easier on the bots here. That's one downside of these big containers. You can't stand right on top of them and have the bots unload at hyperspeed. But it's not that bad. Is this actually full? No, not even. Um, did we only have 50 wind turbines? I guess so. Where, where did we automate it? I think it was just with the... Uh... Yeah, I think it was just with the... Auto crafter. Alright, let's make sure all of these are turned on since I don't have an urgent need for anything specific right now and I want to come back to as much of this being done as possible. Since we're working off of these um, precious few requester chests, maybe I should make a version that takes advantage of this request a warehouse. So we can have like, what? At least six? Probably as many as eight assemblers building off of it. I think we'll do that today. But first I want to just expand this and kill some biters as well. Alright, did we get everything? I think so. We're gonna find out what we didn't get. I didn't forget the warehouses though. Strongbox? I thought we had warehouses here. I guess I'm wrong about that actually. Actually, I want to try the same build but with strongboxes.
the idea was not so much to add a lot of storage here, because this is already eight train loads of storage. Um, but if we use uh, loaders and a big chest, it would theoretically be lower UPS. Um, but MyCloud, I think someone said you'd been experimenting with this. And the way they explained it, it sounds to me like if all chests were auto-sorted, um, this wouldn't have to be a thing. Yeah, for the size of... maybe I'm misremembering who, who was supposedly experimenting with it. Uh, supposedly larger chests uh, can impact UPS. It was you? So what, like... Uh, what were your findings? How did you... How did you run the experiment? Is this...? No. Oh, I need to scroll this? Uh-oh. LCCL train blocks... Is this the basic one? Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, you can actually see the hierarchy of the blueprint books as you scroll through this. I should probably call it something more recognizable, like basic LCCL block. Larger inventory size equals less UPS. I basically did the same number of chests. Warehouses versus regular on a circuit tried both. On a circuit. What sort of circuit? And did you try equivalent uh, inventory spaces as well? I think warehouses were like twice as bad. So is that under all conditions or like if it's empty or full does it make a difference? I have so many questions and not enough rail. Uh, since we came out here with all this other stuff let's go place it while we can. Build them up. Okay. Just enable, disable two sets. So, like, you used a circuit to block inserters from taking from them or something? I tried a bunch of things and I just learned in general Factorio has to count the contents. Even if you block the slots using X and making them red. Interesting. Yeah, I imagine if... Uh, if the game forced inventory sorting for all containers, it would probably be able to save quite a few calculations there? Question mark? Let's go build our mine and... Our smelting, or most of it at least. Inserters have to count the whole box potentially. Yikes. But it doesn't know, so it has to always count. This is where the, uh, the extra nerdy stuff in computer science comes in handy, like sort algorithms. this covered? Yes it is. Fantastic. Didn't I pick up drills just now? Or did we already place them? Oh, we could skip every other drill and still have full coverage here. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's kind of do that for the moment. If only until we... Let's turn the bots off. If only until we place the ones that we need to, and we'll come back with drills at some point. I guess as long as there isn't a gap of two somewhere, we should have full coverage. Am 
How many have I got? One. Borrow these ones. Seems okay. I wish I had a version of tree x-ray that just made all of the trees invisible. If you skipped some drills, it may take longer to mine that patch out. Yeah, of course. I just want to make sure the whole thing is covered before I come back with more drills. Oh, and I meant to bring bulk loaders and unloaders. We can only make three. All right. I'm going to copy paste what we did for copper. And then we'll change it up a little bit. Oops. Iron plate. I will be switching over to um, using fluids for the smelting quite soon. I just want to get this functional first. Like one block for everything. Uh, I was going to use a strong box for this. Hmm. Alright, we're going to make these two first, just so that I can see how this is going to work. I need rail. I can make 35, that'll be more than enough. It's actually like 70, so... I think this is enough so that we can place our... Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, so the containers are actually here. I could maybe... I didn't bring the loaders, did I? Uh, I should have left room here. I guess it's not too late. Yellow loaders, red loaders, power poles. I don't need small ones. Give me mediums at the very least at this stage. Um, but let's say we have... I don't think I can quite do this the way I was imagining. I was hoping to put, like, underground like this, and then this goes in, while this one goes in this way. But we would need a little bit more space to make that work. Like this. It's probably... Gonna look a bit more elegant if... Oh, we also need, like, four in, four out. So, there's that. I kind of wish we had uh, bigger boxes that had odd number, uh, an odd number of tiles on each side. If you skipped some drill... Oh, yes, indeed. Try to build the chest directly at the edge of the rail loader. It used to unload directly into a chest without a loader. Oh. Uh, okay, let me try this. We're going to need a bigger container in that case. It would have to be the biggest one. Yeah, I think I see what you mean. It, it seems to be indicating that it will put this in here. It does. That's fantastic. Okay, so... That really makes me want to stick with the warehouse, because the warehouse is the only one big enough. Uh, it doesn't seem to be indicating that both of these would unload into this, actually. Let's test it real quick in editor extensions. Um, we'll need some rail. We'll need to remove bits of it so that we can place a couple of these. We'll need some power. 
There it is. Power, power. I need all of the power. There we go. Uh, and then, if I put some stuff in here, it's not getting put in here. I think it has to be on the concrete bits. So we probably just can't have one container that both of these will get stuff put into them. If it's going to line up with a station. I'd like to be wrong about that, but it Unless we have a 3x3 three three container, I haven't noticed. Uh, it does seem to work that way. I think it's only working to one side. No, this would work. It's just that the container has to be overlapping the, uh, like, concreted bits. And apparently pick a dolly apparently pick a dollying this into position doesn't make it recognize it. It has to be placed. Or maybe placed by a bot would be okay as well. Although with considering the issues with placing the bulk loaders in the first place, I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so I was going to use a 4x4. Four four. Hmm. No, I was going to use a 2x2, two two, wasn't I? We could probably maybe... We can't use just one of these. Can, can we? That looks different from what I was expecting. Okay, no. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to do what I want here. Can you have them one more space apart? Uh, where exactly do you mean? They won't match the train then, yeah. You can put... Let me scroll. You can put one by one on each corner if you have a three by three to cover two unloaders. Yeah, I don't have a 3x3. Three three. If I had a 3x3 three three chest, I would just put it right here between the two of them. A Marsh and a Sandanima. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Xenox, welcome also. And Vlad, if I didn't say so. I suppose there's a mod for that. The one you put a bunch of steel ones into a line slash square. Oh yeah, I've seen those. One big long chest. Hmm. Alright, I th think we're probably gonna go for the 2x2. Two two. Um. Maybe... It's still smaller than a 4-to-4 four four balancer. Wait, did we... I'm pretty sure we rebalanced it after production. Uh, yeah, we did. Or well, it's not balanced, but it'll saturate. Come to think of it... Maybe we do need a balancer for this part. We've definitely got room for it now. The way this will work will just be sort of arbitrary if we're not saturating. Hi, the wagons can't unload if you add a case of rail between the two unloaders. No, you have to have a piece of rail there, otherwise it, the train can't go through here. They prefer some mini loaders over the other, indeed. Merging chests or wide chests, that's the name of the mod. Chucky, 
good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Out of one tile rail car. Alright. Uh, I think we're going with the two by two. Whoops. What, what the? Uh, which means we're going to need... I don't think there's a way that we put this here and then do the rest with loaders because we can't fit this here. So we have this spidery looking thing. That doesn't have room. And we can't do it like this unless we want only half a belt. Like one and a half belts coming from each of these ultimately. Which is that okay for this? Uh, 120 copper ore per second. That is a bit less than three belts, actually. Uh, that would be fine. A little bit more symmetrical. And then, like this. Whoops. Whoops. I don't despise this. And then we have a proper balancer at the end of the whole thing. Why is this... Whatever, it'll work. Uh, let's get our bots out. And instead of this monstrosity, we'll just have a 4 to 4 going straight in. Uh, where be my 4 to 4? Here it is. I don't think we need to worry about lane balancing. Where would... I hate how we've got even width on this and a single tile in the middle of this, but what can you do? Alright, we're going to need a bunch of red belt when we go back. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ruri. That's something I perpetually forget to do is add certain emote support. And, uh, loaders again. Give me that. Or I guess I should probably just bring that here physically to make sure it's placed properly. Alright, let's go up here. I need a logistic train stop as well. I don't think I've put those into the auto crafter yet. Make it 20. What are we stuck on? Concrete. Uh, and I've run out of rail as well, but we can plan this part. Well, it would help if I had a station, actually. Let's just build and plan what we can. How about here? Or rather... That's not going to look great no matter what we do. I guess this will do. And 
then a little zigzag here. Fantastic. All right, any do I how much red belt am I requesting? Not enough. Let's make it like a hundred of those as well. Get out of here, Cliffs. And what would be the max rate of this? This is a pretty good approximation considering we'll run out of uh, some of it quite quickly. 75 per second. Oh, this can actually consume 120. More than expected. I think I'm happy to limit it to two belts. But we couldn't really snake this through and not create another bottleneck. One, two, three, four belts. Let's have these two meet this one. And I don't think we're going to have problems with the sides of the belt that much if we just do this. All right. Fill those out for when we have more mines. Which is probably before I even switch this thing on, to be honest. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. Where did it go? There it is. Why don't we have power? Because... The big power pole got stepped on. Four belts. Well, let's go get our stuff first. Will chest from Crestorio Legacy be compatible? They have some nice 3x3 three three chests. Oh, no. Wait, no. I was going to say don't tell me those are the ones that we removed. But I'm pretty sure I checked and... the Ooh, we've got express belts now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I checked and all of the chests that we removed were exactly the same size as these ones. Uh, I left room for blue belts here, but I kind of filled it up a bit much. Um, let's see if we can find a way. We actually only need lubricant for one of these recipes. Interesting. Uh, where is our lubricant? I think it's... The only lubricant we have is over here. But it goes up here as well. It's the green line there. That's a bit of a nuisance. What if... We had... Steel underground pipes... Could we reach all the way across this nonsense? Kinda. Kinda, yes. Where's the loop going again? Over here. Ah, uh, one off. Uh... So is this it? I could do undergrounds there or there. I think it was this spot. One off. Why don't I do it like this? 
Fantastic. And then that actually reaches. And then loop goes here. And here. Now we just need steel gear wheels and electronic components. Uh, on a belt was the idea. Hmm. I've got electronic components. I think this is it here. I could take this belt somehow. How fast are we going to go through steer gear wheels? Eight per second, and that's with these slow machines. And we're making them way down here. We're actually making 16 per second, in theory. Oh, there, it's already coming up this way? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's time for a bit of spaghetti. Kind of. A uh, red splitter is here. And then... And then... I guess I didn't need to do that. Glorious spaghetti. Uh, and I need, I need this up here somehow. We can do that. Oh, that's a little bit in the way. We'll make it happen somehow. The question is how. Pi pi pipe. Uh, okay. Uh, where are we? I was thinking of running the belt this way and using long arms here and here and here, I guess. But to get there. I guess we just do this. No, not quite. Hmm. I could move this power pole. Not really. This is some tricky spaghetti. Almost works. How how am I gonna fit the splitter? That could go there actually, and then Yeah, we can make this work. Uh okay. Where's my red belt? So this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here, I suppose. And my inventory is crying. Let's fix it. That is... This is looking for a fast splitter. Oh, I did it backwards. No, I did one of them wrong. Okay. Could I perhaps keep those items in that machine if I do this? Change this to Express Underground, Shift-Click, and... 
fantastic. No, it doesn't even use those items. Never mind. Get out of my inventory, please. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be blue belts. Now we actually need containers for them. Probably a few more undergrounds. So does this work, or is it just starved somehow? I think it's just starved. Uh, we're definitely going to need a stack inserter for this. And... Probably at least a fast on that one. Alright, that's fine for now. How's our auto crafter doing? Still struggling with warehouses. Um, how many do we have? 14? How many am I ordering? 50. That seems a bit much for the moment. I think I should probably hurry up and make a version of this that can use multiple machines. Do we have everything we need to build this stuff at the moment, is what I'm more interested in. I've got the drills. Uh, rail, I'm not requesting. Let's pick up a whole bunch. I put away all my fuel, didn't I? Give it back. Oh, it's not here. Oh, it's still here, okay. Go on, get it out of my inventory. Why did I stop on, like, the last two? Probably because a specific bot is coming to pick this up. And... That's a lot of fast undergrounds. Oh, wait. Didn't I order a lot of fast undergrounds? Not that many. Alright, let's go grab some rail. Oh, we're under attack. Should probably check on that. It's not looking too bad. I keep overshooting with the jetpack here. That's only like 1100 rail. Let's get some more. I should get a lot more signals as well. I don't think they've been built yet because I'm trying to craft too much with the auto crafter. Uh, I do need this, though. I don't think we have red and green wire in the network. How is it made other than having it spawn for free? It's just copper cable in this version. Okay. Um... get this in here. Can I get a red chest? Uh, let's see. Green wire. Red wire. Whoops. And then Where is... there it is. Get out of my inventory. Okay. Uh, limit to a stack. Which one was red? Bottom one. Cool. Only other decent options for 3x3 I found is warehousing or merging chests with... AAI reskin. Okay. I've got the poison capsules. Yes, I do. 
Why do I still have 73 military tech cards in my inventory? Get out of here. And did we get any of these built? We got one. Control click. And test. Oh, that's regular train stops. Control click. We need lamps. I don't think I put lamps in the robot network. We can do that right here. Actually, does anything else come down this belt? I don't think it does. Oh. Oh. There we go. Uh, use logistic network to limit. Less than 200. And lamps. About the same. Fantastic. And for now, we'll just grab some, make it a bit quicker. Alright, how many logistic train stops do we have here? Three, I think I need at least four. One, two, three, actually, never mind. Signals, we have nowhere near enough. How do we make signals? Iron plate and electronic circuit. Very, very straightforward. Can we do that with dedicated spaghetti somewhere? Uh... Good question. I mean, I could just take EC from here. Oh, hello. Oh. Hmm. Well, we can do one of them right here with very convenient spaghetti. And that's about it, actually. Surely we have iron and green circuits on the one belt somewhere. Steel and green circuits. Um, it's a little hard to see where the green circuits are because they are dried up at the moment. Because copper is dried up. We do have an obscene amount of copper in storage up here. I said I didn't want to do this, but I guess we are going to do some spaghetti rail to supply copper down here. Or I could do some spaghetti belt instead. It would have to be quite the spaghetti belt. Then again... How's it going to fit? That's actually a problem. I don't particularly want to connect up this spaghetti rail that's supplying the walls to our LTN rail network. I could do rail through here. I think this will be easier. Glorious spaghetti. And then we'll just spaghetti some belt down. Uh, I don't think I automated loaders and unloaders yet. Or, no, I did. I put it in the auto crafter actually. Logistic train stop goes here. Loaders go here, I think. 
kind of hard to see properly. Perfect. And then... These signals are a bit of a high priority. Um, both ways, both ways, both ways, both ways. And then same thing over here. And here. Should be right. I still didn't find a place to belt signals yet. Iron plate plus green circuits that just happen to line up. Do we have that somewhere? Not really, I don't think so. Surprisingly enough. All right, fine, I'll maybe do it properly. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Hope the base is doing well. Yeah, not bad, actually. Uh-oh. Yeah, we've bought some time to actually build the base for a bit, but I do need to... Give the biters some attention in the near future. Uh, which belt is circuits? Here it is. Immo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we put these... Not really. Let's do it here. Actually, like this. Uh, regular signals, chain signals, belt. Provider, limit, less than 500. Did you went with same size of city blocks? Uh, same as last time? No. Mostly because I want to just try something different. Uh, but also I'm hoping to have less spiky production than last playthrough. And also I'm going to try keeping our rate of production a bit lower, partly for UPS reasons, uh, and partly because... I just want to try and make it easy to keep everything saturated. What a mess. Uh, that, that was a mistake. Where's our green circuits? Uh, where's our thing that we copy-paste all the time from the bus? Here it is. And I want... Oh, that's not going to be lined up right. Okay. Move it over one. Alright, so green circuits plus iron equals signals. Take that off the belt. Or at least this half of the belt. I do smaller blocks, but some things that have slower production I have in 2x2 two two blocks. Fair enough. Alright, there it is. Now, have some circuits. That's the wrong type of signal. 
There we go. Have some circuits. And... Henry Plank, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's go pick up some of this. Plenty of LTN train stops. Fantastic. Did I not request those? I did not. Alright, so we have rail, red belt, uh, loaders. I think we have everything we need to finish our build up here, but I should probably prioritize getting the copper into the base. Every time I think I'm out, the main bus base pulls me back in. Thanks for the morning, Factorio. You're welcome. Can the bots go a bit faster than this? Seems like it. Maybe I should buy, an, not buy, craft a uh, exoskeleton, even though we've only got the, what is it, 6x6 grid. Uh, okay. So that should be fine now. And then we make a stop down here. Might want to leave some... Oh, this is empty. Fantastic. Get that out of my face. Um... It's not like we need another bit of storage here. It doesn't automatically put stuff onto a belt, right? It's only if we have a container there. That's about what I expected. I don't think we need to merge it here if... What do we got? One, two, three, four inputs up there. Let's move the four to four balancer. Maybe we could do a wide one? Let's see. I think it's go that's actually going to be one of the harder things we could try to do with a 4-4, four to four, is to make it as flat and wide as possible. That's what it normally looks like. We need the middle to go to a splitter that goes to the end, and the outsides to go to a splitter that goes to the ends. So how on earth would it be squishier? Maybe... this. And then both of these have to go to the ends, except this one goes to the two outsides, the other one goes to the two insides. Does it matter? It's as long as both of them go to both splitters. Uh, M 
confusion. What's going on here? Just a bit of wall scratches. I'm not seeing an army of purple biters, so that seems okay. O Factoria, indeed. Possible Neko. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can't you use a 6 to 4 splitter? Uh, I don't need a 6 to 4. I don't think. Maximum consumption of copper ore. Oh, wait. We can deliver copper plate as is. I didn't need to change or remove any of this at all. Um, well, we're not actually using four belts in here, and we never will. So let's just split this here. And then something similar over here. And then we'll put copper plate directly in here. Which means we're just running two belts from here to here. And it'll kind of take priority. Keep an eye out for overcomplicating simple problems. And this can go... Will that actually reach? Almost. Not quite almost. Red belt... So, fantastic. Do we have a splitter yet? Uh, no, so I'll put the splitter up here. And then underground. Is that gonna? Not quite. See where that lines up. Red belt go burr. Clip and rotate till we get it right. One off. How dare you. Uh, let's pretend we plant this all along. Alright, and then we need ourselves a pickup. No, a requester. Where does this rotate? There we go. Uh, request tech threshold 80. Train length 4. I don't care about train limits. And we are looking for... Just a couple of train loads should be fine. So one of the old train loads, which is 16k. We give LTN that signal as a negative. No trains to transport items found in depots. Oh. Has the train just happened to be in motion? No? Where is it going? It is coming here. Why did it say no train found in depots? Maybe it was trying to do another delivery at the same time? Isn't it ore and not plates? No, I changed my mind. Um, so this is going to be plates, and we're just going to 
put it straight into where the plates go. And then it's not going to be difficult for the ore to continue flowing up this way. Like, we don't have any difficulty uh, making a squishy 4 to 4 balancer to try and make it fit nicely. That's what I was talking about with watch out for sometimes you may overcomplicate the problem. Because we can just put the plate in like this, because we're we've already done the smelting. Own galaxy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh do we have another train coming? Yeah. I want I'm turning this off so that I can change the name of this you know what? There's only one train. We can do this right now. Copper plate requester, and we're going to go to the train, and it's actually updated. Nice. Alright, that should keep circuits flowing. Let's double check our rate here. Uh, it can... Well, I haven't upgraded these yet. Now that it's this easy, let's do that. Is that still enough for the stone plates? It's actually not. Alright, so stone brick is only 6. Stone tablet 24, it's getting direct inserted. Uh, copper plate is only 36 per second. Should be fine. Can somebody, t someone tell me where I can find the blueprint or instruction for the order crafter? Uh, yep. Get it done. You can find it on the Discord or on Factorio Prints. Although, I think I still haven't updated it. There is a version of this. I think it's the one with the six. Let me just double check something. So we've got this version with just one. I'm pretty sure that works. Although I didn't add the decider combinator so that we only get positive values out of the RoboPort. But that's just sort of a minor glitch that doesn't really hurt anything much. Um, but I have a version of this with two uh, and six and I think one with twelve. Uh, 12 assemblers that'll do the first 12 recipes that are queued up. Uh, and I think... Was it this one? No? It, I think it was this one, probably. Yeah, the one with 12 of them, uh, there's a, uh, there's a wire connection missing. Um, and that would be here, going into the T equals 2 output everything. You've got positive values minus what's already in the robot network. Um, so that go that, that wire goes there. Love it. Thank you. The empty space is just yellow chests. Uh, yes. Yes. Because there's... There's going to be a bit of empty space here. You can fill that with whatever you want or nothing. Oh, we're short on stone brick now? Because we're short on stone. Well, I don't have stone in the rail network yet, so there's no need, or no possibility to get that in. I could take these drills over and fix and finish that copper uh, stone mine, though. That might be easier. Let's 
let's do some upgrades. And get rid of these old ones, I guess. Whoops. Which ones are empty? Let's do a little upgrade planner since I lost track of where some of them are. Electric mining becomes electric mining mark two. Fantastic. We're still only going to have one red belt, 30 per second, but I'm pretty sure that's been keeping the whole thing saturated up to this point. got left here 621k. That should last at least five minutes. Okay, okay, I'll add some trains, jeez. Let's go get some signals. Actually, I really need that inventory space upgrade. I'll try and stay away from the bots shove these in my trash and that'll probably be fine for now. Yopo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Robots on. Stuff's getting attacked. It's not that bad. It's a little bit bad. How many... What's the... Where's the nearest yellow nest? It's probably this lot. Oh, and this lot? Question mark? And they've all turned yellow. I don't mind just leaving the regenerative biters, honestly. They're so easy to def destroy when they're the ones attacking. It's mostly the purples, and to a lesser extent the yellows, that are a problem defensively. Alright, let's continue building for the moment. Uh, I guess we could add some more trains as well, but... I didn't actually mean to throw away all of my train stops for now. Do we still need some? We do. I don't want to pick them up from here. Let's go this way. And before the bots take our stuff, quickly grab this. Uh-oh. Quickly grab this. No, no, what? Why? Why? No, bad. Quickly grab this. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Apparently I had three still. Robot, Roboport, there. Roboport turned off. Let's go... Is that working properly? Yes, it is. Alright, cool. Before anything else, I want to make sure I get the mine and the smelters done. More damage is happening. It's still just walls. Alright, robots go. Fantastic. Uh, I need to make a couple of bulk rail loaders because I didn't pick them up. The bots actually placed these ones correctly. So what's the difference? I wonder. I could do this like this, but let's be consistent. Oops. Whoops. Yeah, I think 
that's the least weird looking way we can do this. Oh, I copy pasted the trees. Whoops. And I definitely want to make sure we are requesting iron, not copper. Iron or requester. We do want to include whatever's in here. This one should be fine, but we should update the name. Don't need to change anything on a provider. What's this? Infinity Accumulator. I don't think we'll be building any of those. Alright. Let's get this rail. Station goes here. And I just realized I need another bulk rail loader. Uh, that's unfortunate. Wait, can I... I can. Let's just grab a stack of iron ore. Shove it in here. And we should get enough to make... Actually, considering the ratio, we won't get enough. Give me another stack. How is my inventory full again? Oh, that's probably why. How about this? Okay, give me a stack of iron. Fantastic. Shove it in here. And we should get another 40 iron plates, which is exactly what we need. To make one more bulk loader. How is... let me guess, we've got little bits of iron stuck in here. Okay. Should have put it all in one machine. That actually didn't add a single recipe using even distribution. How about now? Nope. I think we need... What, it's minus two? Oh, the range is much more than I thought. Okay. That's actually putting a little bit of iron in all of them even though I was up in one corner. Give me that iron. Where did the rest go? Give it back. I've got 45, it doesn't matter now. All right. Second one of these goes, I think, here. Perfect. And then... I'm still torn on making these things balance themselves or not. If I could find a way to do it with less infinite cycling, as in none of that, would probably be the way to go. But let's go a 4 to 2 balancer, which is pretty basic, of course. In fact, it's just this, isn't it? Need a loader. That doesn't look right. Oh, because it's not going to that particular 
four t four by four tiles. Uh, Dice TV, thank you for the fault. Uh, not the follow, sorry. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kellogg's, good to see you again also. How was your stream today? Ferraria, fantastic. Shouldn't that be a loader? You placed an unloader. I see what you did there. Particle Live, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you mirror a blueprint with those loaders, things go wrong. Yes, they do. Yeah, they're a bit uh, finicky, shall we say? That looks kind of weird, but I think less weird than it would if we do the other thing. Alright, so this is gonna go here. No, not a joke. Guy clicking. What are we bonking? Is it not an unloader? But... Oh, the bulk rail unloader. I thought you meant the fast loader was backwards. Oh, okay. All, all right. Good thing someone told me that nice and quick. Um, why don't we take this iron and make some happy little iron plates and make a bulk rail loader actually. I probably should just go back for more, but it's just far enough. I don't want to do that. One, two. There we go. So anyway, after that thing that didn't happen, uh, we put a bulk rail loader as opposed to an unloader. Because only a fool would put an unloader where there's supposed to be a loader. Is this right? It's kind of hard to see. I think it's right. Seems good. Well, we're going to have to wait till a train comes to be sure. Okay, uh, let's see, provide a station. I should really just update these already for the current playthrough. So this is going to be provide stack threshold 80. Uh, provide threshold for fluid is 50,000. And train size is 4. And I don't think I want a default train limit, actually. Standard pickup update with new contents, fantastic. Uh, standard requester, same thing. How bad is the combat? Moderately. I need to hurry up a little bit. All right, so train length four, no train limit, request threshold, okay. Standard requester, save blueprint, and active pickup, same thing. And for stations that are both pick up and drop off, threshold 80 stacks, 50,000 fluid, length 4, and update. Cool. 
All right, standard provider, not requester. Pick up. Goes here. Wires connect from the light to these two. And that's basically it, but if we want to, we can change the station name. As for the iron ore drop-off, I think we already did that. Haven't switched it on yet. Fantastic. But we'll need 80 stacks of stuff before... I think we've already got it. Yeah. 80 stacks of stuff before the train comes to get it. Get this iron out. And then... Connect all these. And once more. Whoa. Okay, I don't need another tree. Not yet, at least. And for the last lane, we're going to sneak it backward into this lane. Actually, this should look like this. Fantastic. I don't mind the sound of these drills. Don't know that that one was wholly necessary. Train is on its way. Uh, and has no path. That's not too surprising. Let's see if we can't fix that. I wonder if it's just signals. Probably not. How far can it go? Oh. Uh, actually, I can get up here. And down here we need some cliff explosives. Is it on its way? It actually is. It might get stuck trying to come back. Actually, I don't think so because it's a two-way train. Why do you do everything using undergrounds? Uh, not just aesthetics, but also it saves metal if you're going... This is in vanilla, by the way. If you use red belt or higher, it's actually... I think it might be neutral with red belt. And it actually costs more if you use it for yellows. Uh, but other than that, to go the same distance with undergrounds as opposed to regular belts, it's fewer stacks in your inventory. I think it might also be... If the belt is long enough, uh, more UPS friendly, because it's simulating fewer tiles of belt than it otherwise would. Because I think the length underground is the same. I don't know, is it max distance? I guess I could find out. If we precisely time it and see how long it takes items to emerge on the opposite side. Okay, I think I should probably attack some biters. Um, I definitely want to get this stone mine. Actually, I've got... Well, I've got 64 electric drills. That should be enough. If we use... Uh, this blueprint? That could have been lined up a bit better, but... Time is more important. Was that actually all my drills? It was. Alright, let's be selective about which ones of these we remove. Do 
Do we have full coverage? Uh, probably not. Why don't we just upgrade the ones that are missing? That's easy enough. Actually, do we even need this one? We don't. What's our rate here? 42. Uh, I don't have a use for stone in the rail network just yet, though. But maybe we'll use it to feed the old base. Maybe not. Okay. I think it's about time I attack the biters a bit more. We've got plenty of defender capsules, uh, a decent amount of fuel, poison capsules, explosive rockets, flamethrower. Uh, I think I just need to drop off some stuff to make sure there's plenty of room in my inventory. Even distribution makes it very easy. Alright, let's take even more Defender Capsules just in case. And definitely a lot more fuel since I just accidentally dropped off a bunch of it. Swap out the Roboports for jetpacks and throw in a Laser Defense. Oh, uh, and have my shields ready to equip when we get closer. I think I would like to clear this area out. And then... This wall's not that bad. I'm more concerned about the north at this stage, perhaps? It's only really getting scratched. Oh, we're out of ammo. Should probably do something about that. Alright. We'll go south first. I think the lasers and flamers are holding the line well enough. For now. Where are we? Worker robot speed is almost done researching. Fantastic. We still doing names in base? Yes, indeed. Although, if you redeem it right now, you might have to wait a little while. Uh, let's get... Oh. Oh. Um... Let's get some shields, and a bit more jetpack actually, some bots, and some poison capsules. And maybe some rocket launcher. Uh, that's stronger than I thought it would be. Did they boost it with this mod pack? Maybe I'll just skip the poison capsules. How much range do we have? Enough. I gotta be a bit more careful with the bots if I'm close to these regenerative biters, though. Oh, we're taking damage. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not underestimate those worms. 
the poison capsules do give us more of the ability to keep moving. Uh, how am I... Oh, I clicked this. Not space. I should use poison and explosives. Ooh. I gotta be... Okay, I'm hitting myself with the explosives. I gotta be careful about that. Because they hit trees and stuff. Even, ow. Even though we're supposed to be in the air. Range is better than expected. It's so easy to self-own with the rockets in this in this combat mechanics overhaul, though. WTF, those explosive worms. Those are the regenerative biters. Uh, they're not much for attacking your base, but they are much more difficult to dislodge than probably any other type of biter. I should probably just ignore them now that I've destroyed the spawners, actually. There is one over there. Let them go to the base and be easily shot. Is that rare metals? Yes, it is. The question is, why are the trees doing just fine after being hit by a rocket? Uh, they're not. They get blown up. Alright, let's go poison capsules, and then switch to rocket launcher, speed things up a little bit. It's not too efficient with the resources we're putting into the rockets, but our time is more important already. And I've already run out of rockets though. I should really not be getting distracted by the Regenerative, regenerative biters here. They're not a threat to the base. But since these ones are already low, let's get rid of them. How effective is this? I guess the regen biters, because they move so much slower, we're going to get more value out of that. Yeah, I'll just ignore them. 
Let's go for the yellows and purples. Which are mostly over here, actually. Decided not to move to Hagen. I do want to move to Hagen for the most part, but I don't want to just abandon Nalvis. Um, I want to get it to the point where it is pretty much secure. Um, and before we move to Hagen, it'll be easier if we get certain things automated here first anyway. The sooner we clear Nalvis, the easier it's going to be, unless we wait all the way until uh, energy beaming or extinction bombs. And it is going to cost UPS to have the a million biters wandering around as well. And I don't think we're going to be able to, like, delete surface on now, because there's always going to be stuff that belongs to us. Even if it's just the crashed ship. Does crashed ship not spawn back? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. But I get the feeling we won't be able to delete surface on Nalvis one way or another. If we did, it would cause... It would mean we'd have to clear the whole planet from scratch again later as well. I do want to have Nalvis to exploit. This is going smoother than before. Let's head up to the purple and yellow base up here. Just about do it. Wait for the poison to soften them up a little bit. Fantastic. Is there a nest up here still? Alright, since our bots are dead anyway, let's get our bearings. Yellow must go, purple must go. The only question is how far we want to bother to push them back at the moment. Uh, regenerative can stay. Alright. So we want to hit... Where are we right, right now? We want to hit here, 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 here. All over here. That's actually quite a lot. How many rockets do we have back at base? At least 228? Hmm... Artillery train out of reach. Uh, yeah, we haven't done the artillery research yet. 
but also the range is actually kind of pitiful at the beginning. All right, I'll hit this slot at least while I'm here. How many capsules do we have? 30. Okay, we'll probably go back after this one. Oh, this base goes on forever. Okay, okay. Okay, should have paid attention to that. And second lap we clean up. Should have put another capsule on that lot of worms. Should have put some more capsules on this, actually. And we're out. this base before our bots despawn. Pretty easily, actually. Fantastic. Get these guys before they spawn an army. Alright, back we go. Maybe you have to leave as many regenerative as possible to plug their biter production. Um, I did turn off biter expansion, so the biters are actually uh, the biters are a lot tougher than if we didn't have rampant. But uh, I spared myself that particular kind of difficulty. Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What mod shows those different biter evolution stages in map via colors? Uh, it's not really different stages, but the mod is called Rampant. Uh, it adds a whole lot of other types of biters, and it makes their AI a lot more aggressive and effective. Oh, what's this? May as well pick this up while we're here. So our stone mine is still doing fine. Maybe I should prioritize... That's output priority. Whoops. Oh, I've done it now. Uh, input priority. Right. Maybe I should do that so that this consumes... Hmm. And I messed that up again, didn't I? I, I want this to go a bit more evenly. Whatever. It'll slow down before it stops, as all mines will to some extent. Thanks, you're welcome. Uh, to Ken. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think you meant to... Welcome to Ken 2K? Yes? 
What did I... Did I misspeak? I thought I said Tekken. Is it supposed to be Tekken, or... What, what did I miss? Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That should be fine, except that we've got Copper sitting here until the end of time. Never mind, just delay? Okay. Wait, what did I do? <laughs> no, you didn't do anything. Apparently I was confused, maybe. Or someone was confused. I think we're all confused now. Uh, I think I'm requesting way too much red belt. Oh, I picked up a bunch of red belt. That, that's probably it. And... Make some more room for rail and stuff. I should probably request... Loaders and unloaders. As much as I'm running out of inventory space. No afro, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not like this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh... So has this been working? I think I saw a train moving. Yes. And I don't think the iron plate has anywhere to go yet, does it? But we are accumulating it. Wait, what? Oh, I think some of these inserters might be wrong. We've got six machines, we want three of them to put to the far side, and three of them to the near side. That should do it. Who's taking damage? Oh, I needed to take ammo up there as well, until we get this properly... properly auto-supplied. Which is going to be a minute, considering how much rail we need to... take up there. Give me all of this. Make some room. Why do I keep having 51 turrets? There we go. The bots just jumped out of my uh, RoboPort, didn't they? I've been scared of mods like SE and Pi since forever. I wouldn't quite put SE in the same category as Pi, from what I've heard. Uh, the complaints some people have about Pi, it sounds rather arbitrary in its complexity. Is that greenish colour on, on Ghosts a dev update? Greenish colour? Uh, yeah, I th think so. I, I think it's been like that for a while. Just too complicated for my brain to handle. Rail blocks uh, help a lot when dealing with the um, byproducts. Also, direct swapping of resources from machine to machine when they have a percent chance to return inputs. 
also it you can count if factorio says it's got like a a one percent chance of returning scrap or at least with se this is how it works uh you will get exactly one scrap for every hundred recipes or at least 10 for every thousand i'm not sure exactly how many repetitions you'd have to get to get it exact but it is consistent Hi, he's silly. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think I'd like to place some more rail while I figure out what I'm doing next. Since I've got the Defender capsules, Poison capsules, and rockets, and a lot of fuel, I think I'll head up north immediately after this. Except I just realized I have to get my bots first. Where are they? I can't see them on the mini-map. Just the big map. Tried K2 but didn't finish it. Enjoyed it though. Maybe I should try SEK2 combo. Perhaps. I guess you can use me as your canary in the coal mine. All right. Let's go burr. They're gonna bottleneck on recharging if I don't do this, or they're gonna do that anyway, actually. I should probably add some trains at some point, but... It would only be to stop LTN complaining for the moment. It's not that uh, we don't have enough trains to do what we need to do right now. Where's the train? Picking up copper plate, taking it to main base, fantastic. How is copper and circuits looking? Copper is almost perfectly saturated. Why is it almost perfectly? Oh, because this hasn't arrived yet. Huh. Are we actually consuming copper plate so fast that 36 per second... We've only got a trickle coming from these smelters, so it's really not... That's maybe like 10 per second or so. Less than that copper plate. This can keep up easily. 90 per second. 120 copper ore per second, which we can't get from here. We could get like 100. Hmm. Aziz, light! As is light, Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How big are your city blocks? I think they're 80... 86 by 86 is the, um, the snap to size. So they repeat every 86 tiles. Um... Yeah, I sized them to fit... Well, let me just place myself here for a sec. Uh, I sized them to fit pretty well with... Whoops. Two uh, LCCL trains. With this in the middle. And they have kind of a shared spot for where this rail block ends. 
And then if we have late game beacons. Wide area beacon. Where did I put it just now? Here it is. Uh, we can kind of comfortably fit some stuff and like use basically all the space under one wide area beacon on each side and also have a comfortable amount of space for input and output. And considering how with my larger blocks last playthrough I ended up having a ton of empty space. What are my bots doing? I've got rail. I didn't travel that far. Where are they? Construction bot. They're not in my inventory. What? I had construction bots a second ago, right? I didn't, like, delete them by jumping to the editor extensions, surely. Are they flying back home for some reason? I don't see them. Uh, city blocks? Concept I haven't done for a long time. Gone? Reduced to atoms? No. I don't want that. That's a problem with the ED extension. Are we serious right now? I gotta test it. Uh, personal logistics off. Robo, I mean jetpacks go. Alright, I'm gonna get like just a few construction bots. How about six? Get out of the robo network. I'm gonna place six of these up here. Walk in range. Control E. Control E. They're gone. Oh my god. It, it deletes my construction bots. Oh no. Does that mean even if I'm careful about how I do it, I I guess I can't, like, stand around and let the bots build things. Is it because my character just disappears from this surface? They are in the editor? Oh, no. Where's the nearest robo network that's working? Uh, I keep going N, but that doesn't. 50 and 13. Uh, we got 63 bots here. I have to find out if that's what's happening. Let's get, like, five bots. It was 63, right? And editor. I don't think they're here. I think they just straight up got deleted. I don't think Blueprint Lab mod has that issue. I'm not going to mess around with the mod list at this stage. We're not in Kansas anymore. Now check. Uh, 68. Yeah, no, it did. They did come over here. We just couldn't see them here yet for some reason. Welp. Um, I guess... I guess they're just gonna stay in the Shadow Realm. I'll have to be careful not to do that. Can you transport them back? If I could, I could cheat infinite bots. I doubt there's a way to do it, but I could be wrong. Because your character vanishes from this surface, exactly. Alright, let's get more... Roboport.
I'll just drop all the rail I've got on the way and we'll do... Why is this not powered? Um... Oh god, oh no, why did I break that? Oh crap. Uh... 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 I gotta be a lot more careful when I go... I, I, I thought I avoided picking up any power poles when I was down here, but apparently not. Where is it? Back here. This one. Just in time. Or oh, I guess we still had ammo in here. Okay. Okay, back we go. Hey, Utbrot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I feel like you are at the turret defense portion of the game. Yeah, pretty much. Especially since I pushed the biters quite far back, this is turning out to be a bit more challenging than expect. The bots are way over there. Get over here. We're going to get a tool belt upgrade soon. That's nice. Get in my inventory. You as well, please. And you. Okay. So I suppose if bots are not in my inventory when I switch to the editor, there's going to be no character sitting around in this plane of existence. Wait. Surely I can't avoid being eaten by biters by going to the editor. I'm kind of curious. Oh, that's over the raw rare metals. That was a mistake. Um, decon, no trees. Yeah, I, I did this before. Whoops. You're just snapping out of existence anytime things get dicey, indeed. Bubbly tracks. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Finding ways to cheat death, of course. How much power are we getting from these windmills that I'm just putting everywhere? 6.3 megawatts, that's not bad. And we're just getting started. Alright, rail up here. And this way. I thought there was a spot I needed to redo because I didn't have cliff explosives before. Or did I run the blueprint over everything again and that's why I ended up with this? What's the wind power for, by the way? Backup? Um, kind of. It's just like... I want to make use of this space a little bit. And yeah, having a constant free source of energy is definitely not bad either. Uh, 
Are they decorations or will they have significant power impact? Well, we get uh, 8 times 4 times 20 kilowatts. Um, 640 kilowatts for each block. So it's not nothing. It more than covers, like, minimum power consumption, I think. What do we have here? 16.7 times 24. Uh, 400 watts, uh, 400 kilowatts, just idle. So yeah, I think, if I remember what I just said, we're net positive on power just from when this isn't smelting, just from having those, uh, wind turbines. I was thinking of having air purifiers as well, but you have to supply and take from them, so I think I'm just going to have an air purifying block every once in a while. Although, once we clear the biters, we won't have to bother with those. Necessarily. Alright, we've dropped off all our rail and signals and stuff. Let's go for some combat gear. And tool belt. Fantastic. Oh, I should have let the bots build these solar panels first. Oh well. Now, where do we have something other than We've got common biters back here, but they're not really a problem. As long as it's all regenerative and combat biters at this corner, I don't think I really need to um, attack them. Because they're never going to do serious damage to the walls. What was that? Trees? A bunch of random trees in the middle of that biter nest. I just need to get this to the point of being automatically resupplied and repaired, I think. The regenerative biters are extremely weak to fire. Purple nest? I could clear some purple nests up here, and the yellows. Okay. What are we researching now? Uh, first question, how much research do we have left up here? Oh, that's... That's at least seven. Before I even bother to do anything else. So we got like 1.6k times... Uh, times nothing. Well, times 1.18. That's actually about what we've got for the data cards as well. So we can do almost, or probably like 1900 signs. Uh, I still need to take military tech cards up. And we're going to resupply a bunch of other stuff when I do. We could get solid rocket fuel from... Coal, pyroflux, oxygen, and iron plate. It's not much coal or iron plate. I don't have a feel for how much 60 pyroflux is. We need vulcanite blocks for prod threes, imasite for speed threes, and cryonite for efficiency threes. I don't think I care about methane. Uh, we definitely need hypercooler at some point. Should probably get scaffolding done. It's cheap anyway. Uh, we can do assembly threes on the ground. 
Maybe I should do that already. This would, these two would be 700, 8, 9. Immersium Plate. By Cal, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Five months, thank you very much. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should we knock off Condenser Turbine? We're not aiming to get on... It's quite cheap, anyway. But we're not aiming to get on a waterless planet just yet. Uh... Yes. Wait, how do I not have this yet? Oh, it was behind Logistics 3. I see. Alright, well that doesn't even require any... It's going to consume some of the automation cards up here, but I think it's going to get done almost immediately downstairs as well. Yeah, it's not going to consume a whole lot of cards upstairs to do this. So we now have cargo capacity 2 on our worker robots. That's nice. What about that artillery? We'll get there. We have to go into space again before we can do military science. So hold your horses. It's fine. We're running out of stuff that we can do still. But I think we will run out of science packs before we run out of stuff that matches our current set of things. I definitely want... Platforms, hypercoolers. Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait, you were here before. Sudden sea for cat, though. Uh, Creo Gentleman. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again also. Yeah, I don't think it matters that much what I choose at this point. Let's just knock off things that I might actually build on the ground first. Just wondering what it would take to get some nuclear weapons. Uh... Let's see. Rocket? What is it called? The nuclear missile. Missile. Rocket. Military 5. Heavy rocket launcher. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Atomic bomb. We actually just need production science packs. That's surprisingly close by. I mean, we have to go interplanetary for that, but... It's not that far into being interplanetary. So now we just need to make enough breathing room that we can concentrate on building. That was closer than I would have expected. Yeah, that's true. Uh, for this little base, I think we're just going to use some bots. Fantastic. For this one, we'll definitely want some capsules. And clean up lap. I keep 
falling as I go through the poison. Nuclear would help so much with getting rid of the biters, yeah. I have a mod that is supposed to remove the nasty scorch marks as well. The thing is, we don't have cover X though, so we we wouldn't be able to use nukes very often. I'm not even interested in destroying the regenerative biter nests. In before they all turn into nuke biters one day. I don't know if that's how that can work or not. Oh, that's not a regenerative. That's like a fast armored one. Where are they coming from? Let's not get stuck. yellows over here. Oh. Rip bots. finish off this nest now. Fling the bots around. I'll tank as much damage as it takes to keep the bots alive and dealing damage. But now we've got a wall of regenerative claws. I can't... I'm not going to spend the time to go through that. Whoops, that was the wrong... That was the wrong button. Okay, okay. Holy moly? Yep, this is rampant. Can't you do cover X now that you have the science? I think we need productivity science. We need a consistent supply of vulcanite for that. Oh, oh my... That... That was so fast. Jeez. Okay. Um. I, I also clicked the wrong place to respawn. So. I guess. Give me some. Solid rocket fuel. And let's go. Back to Nalvis. That was. That was just so fast. I didn't think I could die that quickly. Whoops, indeed. That might be a good time to take a little break. Where did we die? Way up there. 
Okay, I do have a spare, um... Whoops. Uh... That's not what I meant to do. How do I clear everything? Quick actions, clear both. And just give me my spare... Remind yourself Thrust that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Where's my thrust suit? It's not on the way yet. On the way one. Just trying not to step out of the robot network here. Here it comes. Alright. I don't have any fuel just yet. I think I dumped it in he or some of it in here. Yes, good. Fantastic. And poison capsules. Um, I don't really want to build another rocket launcher. Snake, snake. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hi, do you know the mod Iron Man War Machine? I do not. I find it quite cool on Crestorio for the huge equipment grid of jetpacks and more. Recommend so much. Bet that in mind. Actually, I'll take all of these. And so we got fuel, we got bots, we got capsules. I don't have med packs, not that they helped me there. Um, how about this? Alright. We'll go get our body back after the break. Let's get some words on stream. Hey Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Words on the stream will start in about thirty seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and see you soon.
Almost perfect. Fantastic. Alright, let's continue with SpaceX, shall we? And where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, Corpse Recovery Mission number... Three? Scashman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so even the yellows do not underestimate them. I guess it doesn't help when you run directly into a group of them. I should probably put more jetpack in my spare suit. Alright, are we getting there? Not quite. Got to cross this body of water right here. And it's about time to start throwing out bots. Oh. Probably shouldn't take fights that I don't need to when I don't have shields. That seems like a bad idea, actually. And all of my bots just died. Wow. Okay. That's... That's how strong the claws are. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. Where is my corpse? Down there, in the worst possible position. Let's heal. I'm gonna run out of health at this rate. Not a whole lot I can do about the light right now. Get these bots just in range. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I see how it is. This is a pretty good spot for just killing the biters, but how am I going to get to my corpse? I should probably lead them away from it like this. Gotta watch out for the reach on those claws. Have some poison. Alright, can I now get to my corpse? The answer appears to be yes, but did we get everything? We actually did. Fantastic. Let's swap the thruster suit, and we're back in business. Tower defense mod activated, indeed. Monty Ponty, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that fish defense mod all over again? Fish defense mod. The uh, regenerative biters mixed in with the yellows is pretty annoying, actually. At least we don't have spawners of regeneratives right here. I think the most annoying thing about it is just how easy it is to get all of our bots killed. 
it really restricts my movement. value out of those explosions. I think we could probably get better value out of the flamers against the regenerative though. If the flames stuck around for longer, it'd be a lot more efficient. Alright, I think we'll be able to focus on actually killing the nests a little bit more now. Just a bit. I feel like the fun the fast bite is a sort of designed to ambush you. The way they suddenly accelerate. Glad I didn't go rampant on any playthrough? Why is that? I can't think of a single reason. Let's just waste some flamethrower fuel. I think it's worth. What's taking damage right now? Walls are getting scratched, it's fine. Let me move. Almost there. That's the end of almost all the spawners. And almost all of the biters as well. Fantastic. We got there eventually. I'll Probably just ignore those little yellow ones there, at least for the moment. Alright, no regen biters over this way. This is like a victory lap by comparison. Rockets move very fast. And I think that's all the yellows except for those few that we haven't killed yet up there. Let's get some purples out of the way. Wait, 
Where is this attack happening? Alright, it's still just walls taking damage. Why don't you use the Tesla gun? Uh, because it's precious ammo that we can't replace. And it doesn't take that long to go through a stack. I want to really need it before I use the Tesla gun. Until we're getting close to replacing ammo for it. Oh, 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 rocks. Okay. 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 Doesn't matter if you're flying. It will hit the rocks right in front of you. Gotta be really careful with the rocket launcher. It'll fly through cliffs, but rocks and twigs on the ground will get you killed. Like that. Did I miss Oxy Game? Uh, no. It's Sunday. Or I guess it's Saturday in most places. Our PHL streams. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fill the rest of these and... Up we go. How do you keep your base organized? Any method to the madness? Uh, yes. It's not that well organized this time, but... Start with a main bus base. Okay, the first base is going to be a bit of a spaghetti base, especially if you're unfamiliar with the production chains. Uh, then I build a bit of a main bus base that's going to support building the base after that. Uh, basically look at, if, if you have something like FNEI, uh, look at how much you're going to need certain intermediate products, and it, if it looks like it's going to be a lot, make a lane for it on the main bus, and take from it when you need it. And just keep adding things to the side as you go. We're aggroing the other bases as well. Build a base to build a base to build a base to build a base. Yes. Absolutely. Because you can't just start at a bot base or a rail bus base or something. Even if you had the tech, the scale is a bit of a pain to build before you have some serious throughput. Always be thinking about how to make things easier on your future self. Oh, and build things... if you don't know what you're doing yet, like you don't know all the production chains and stuff, uh, build things further apart than you think you need to. Can we get... S oh no, I didn't mean to waste that. Oh no. That was supposed to be Flamer. Did we get the base? I think we did. Let's get this small one. I tried doing a 936 train. Yikes. Before researching beacons once? Oh no. 
Yeah, I remember when I was relatively new, building, like, four lanes of, like, almost everything. Like, four lanes of iron, four lanes of copper. Most things were four lanes. Um, just in case. From very early on, and it just took way too long to actually build. This is kind of a weirdly shaped nest. Let's leave the poison to do its thing for a second and we'll come back to that. Let me move, please. Thank you. There we go. Let's take advantage of these cliffs. One more lap with the poison capsules. Feels kind of weird having a death and decay spell in Factorio, but I guess that's what we've got. The purples... the, 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 the enemies that are the biggest threat to our base tend to be relatively easy to remove once we find the time to attack them. And vice versa. So far, when we get to nuke biters, uh, you want to be a little bit careful when you're clearing them out. Just a bit. I'm trying to hit these guys nice and fast before the regeneratives get in my way. That'll have to do, I think. Wait, are those regenerative? Yeah, they are. I'm impressed how well the combat bots are still holding up. Yeah. I am... Pleasantly surprised at that as well. You'd think they'd be a bit redundant by now. We will be able to make destroyer capsules soon. If they have a significantly more health, that might actually help a lot as well. The fact that we can mostly keep them from taking damage helps a lot as well. But I mean, having 30 aimbots chase us around, it's not too surprising that it's quite effective. some capsules over here. I don't think the uh, combat bots get hurt by the capsules either. Just 
going pretty smoothly. Let's head up this way where we've softened them up a little bit already. still be nests up here. Doesn't look like it. A whole, a whole row of bud stacks? Yes. There is no overkill. There is only open fire and I need to reload. Besides which, we want to minimize the number of trips we have to make when the travel time is like a minute or two. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Did we get all the purple spawners? Not quite. see how it is. Yeah, it's going to be tough getting in there at this point. We're just going to come back later, I think. Uh, but that's almost all of the purples. Let's find somewhere safe to get our bearings. Don't think that little nest is going to cause us much trouble. And it looks like the rest of these are regenerative. I should hit this one as well. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream today? Or the rest of it, I should say. Oh, hello. Uh, can we do this with just a laser? I think we can. That's a lot of little spawns, though. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's these two nests I want to hit, and then 
I think the north wall should be pretty cozy for quite a long time. Just teleports your character into the lab, even though there's a way to detach the character from the player? Is that so? Okay. Let's get 30 bots out, and give them some capsules. Soften them up on the first lap. And maybe clean them up on the second. We're going to need at least another lap after that because we can't get in that deep. if I used another capsule, but I don't really need it at this point. As long as we don't run out of butt time. What even are those underground things? Spawning Worm Overlord T8. Oh. So we kill them before they... before they become useful. We did run out of butts. I should have used a capsule or two. It's fine. Actually, the rate that it's adding new hit points that we have to chew through by trying to spawn big worms is a little bit of a problem. There's another couple of little bases left. Nice. Alright, I think we've got almost no purples and yellows to threaten the north wall. And regeneratives are terrible at attacking. Let's do some building. Rubber Band Rambo, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Was away for the week. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, not bad. Thank you. Actually, uh, had a bit of stress earlier on as my... All-in-one cooler gave up the ghost on the pump. Uh, luckily, it didn't cook the CPU because it's surprisingly good at cooling it up to a point. Even without the pump working. But uh, suffice to say, we had to do arguably the hardest part, period, of PC building. Installing CPU coolers. 
And removing the old one was a nightmare. It was actually glued on. It took a lot to get that to dislodge. Uh, let's restore our requests. Stand next to where most of the stuff will be. So we've basically just got iron and copper in the rail network now. Uh, we've got a stone mine right here that I haven't hooked up to anything just yet. But we will be able to fit a regular block around that. Uh, what should we do next? We're kind, we're kind of starting over again with the whole rail base thing. I should definitely get some more trains. And... Uh, I think I will do the belt thing until we can reproduce requested chests. It It's going to be... It's going to be a sight to behold. Nothing but regen biters. Nice. Let's just remove some of this. Keep it clean. Don't slowly accumulate things that are eventually going to cost a little UPS. What? Why can't I? Oh, I see. Uh, in the editor extensions place. Alright, so this is what we've got. Wait, did I not make a blueprint for it? Uh-oh. Okay, this goes here. Yeah, I don't think I did make a blueprint for it. Uh, this is our draft for... One of the depots. Need the tree. And we're going to get rid of the bots. Uh, we're going to get rid of chests. At least these chests. And I think I'll just have this one as the drop off for processed fuel. I'll do a 4x container for that. Or actually we could just go... Bulk rail unloader. Is that gonna... That's not gonna line up right. Why can't I place it properly? Oh my goodness. This one lines up correctly. I can't place this on top of rail. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Okay. Tree, indeed. Uh, and I think I just want that to... go into the one container. How about just a 2 by 2 Should be fine. And this one, it's not going to fit very well. Hmm. Let's just do it like this. Or not. How about like this? 
I think that's as neat as I can make it. I'll just check that that actually works. Yes, fantastic. And our trains are going to be... in places like this. We'll do it this way. Actually, this should probably be yellow. I could move the substations. Actually, never mind the yellow. Let's make that red. Just so that we can go like this. That doesn't even reach. How dare you. Could we move all of these down one tile? Seems good. Uh, dear Air, thank you for the Prime sub. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If we do this the same way each time... Uh, we should be able to have that repeat the way we want, I think. Uh, yep, seems good. Alright, so we're gonna do this, this, and this, and this. And maybe even, I think that's going to look a little weirder than if we just split that from here. Question mark? What's higher UPS, a splitter or just two outputs like this? Or does it not matter once it's saturated? Who knows? Or I could do it this way. I think that looks kind of neater anyway. Although then it's not going to look very neat once I do this. Have the other... Have the unloading happen on the other side of the tracks? It's not going to be repeatable if I do it like that. I think this looks neater. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then... So this much is going to be the same in each quarter. Uh, this doesn't have to be here, actually, because this is going to go not quite where I would like it to, but if we do a little zigzag here, uh, it's not ideal, but I don't think this is the worst either. So this goes here, this goes here, and does this also go here? I don't think so. I mean, we don't need to have it cycle forever. When I used them a few years back, they started to bug and lag my base. Uh, what did? Did you check bulk rail loaders for... TPS problems? Uh, no, I didn't. TPS. Is this office space? Oh, this needs a... an underground... like so. 
so these are going to need to change a bit. UPS, okay. That makes more sense. Uh, the idea of the bulk rail unloaders is to save UPS compared to the 24 or 48 inserters and chests and then another 24 or 48 inserters and, uh, and some combinators and all of that lovely stuff that I had for many of my train stations last time. Pretty sure it's probably going to be more efficient than that, UPS-wise, considering we have like two entities here as opposed to 24, or 12 I guess it would be with shorter trains. I, I actually don't hate this at all. If I could have come up with this layout uh, yesterday, I probably just would have gone for the belt layout straight away. Alright, uh, so this is going to be... this is no longer a depot. Um, this is going to be a drop-off station, a requester. And we're going to be requesting solid rocket fuel. And I guess we can't count on this being balanced. But if I just keep the rec if I keep the request level low enough, it should work itself out. This is how many? More than more than a train load, just in this container alone. If I set it to only ask for a couple of train loads. Even if in the most severe case of imbalancing... Well, the train would be stuck here for a little while. I could just ask for one train load. Instead of adding any logic to keep this balanced. It's... Considering how slow we'll go for fuel, that's probably sufficient. Uh, so this stacks to... What? No, how dare you. Processed. Fuel. Stack size 100. Uh, so we're going to look for... Eighty times one hundred. Eight thousand processed fuel. Put it in as a negative because LTN is always trying to bring the value closer to zero. Processed fuel requester. And I think that'll do it. Oh no. Well, it, it'll be fine, but I didn't put... I, I wouldn't have been able to. I didn't put the uh, combinator where it would usually go. To show that this is a depot stop. So we're going to go red wire, if I can find it. Oh, okay. And I might just connect that like so. And this will be called depot, all caps. And I might actually use uh, this to show how many wagons we've got. Alright, so what are we doing here? Stop his depot. Uh, 
Minimum train length is four. Maximum train length is four. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Wait, I can't fit it here, can I? No. If I fit it here, it would be more consistent, though. Let's see how that looks. And copy paste. I'll remove some of these because they're not the same everywhere. goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. It doesn't look that bad. I think it's fine. Can't you just use one of the combinators in the depot and link the stations together with wire? As in, have one constant combinator for all four of these, or more? Hmm. Only if I had enough wire colors to link them all separately. Because if we link these lights together like this, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have problems. Even if they're just depots, that could be bad. Don't you only need one combinator for all the depot stops? I'm not sure about that. Hi, what's your opinion of LTN Combinator Modernized? I haven't tried it yet. Atem, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, generally, like, if we connect the light to the stop, for instance, it definitely causes problems. Uh, if we're connecting all of these lights together, it might be a problem. And I don't necessarily want to find out. I've only just barely touched LTN, but that's how I wired Depot. One combinated daisy chained all the stops. I guess we can run the experiment. Um, I'm pretty sure it's no different UPS-wise, since it's just a constant that never changes. It also doesn't cost any power or anything like that. We can try it. different here. Fast underground is in the way. Oh. That's why I was removing the belts. Fast underground is in the way? What? Is one of those backward or something? Fast underneath -y is in the way. Of what? Oh, wait, what? Uh, okay. It's the combinator I forgot to remove. And then make sure they're all connected. looks to be all of them, except for this one. Oh, and uh, these other three stops. Um, I actually do want them to have 
you. Hmm. There's no way to for this part to look consistent. This one. And then red wire from here to here. Alright, that should be it. Let's make a blueprint. I'm going to copy this so that we have the same snap to settings. Select new contents. Uh, I'm just going to put depot. Oh, here we go. Depot 2. LCCL Depot. Save. And let's give it a try. I guess the bots have brought my stuff by now. If you do that, don't use train limits, because they will all be seen as the same station. Uh-oh. Well, if it's a depot, it should just have a limit of one, right? Alright, uh, I guess I need to bring back this decon planner. Get rid of this. I need a lot or maybe not a lot more actually. I need perhaps a few more logistic train stops. And let's grab our blueprint. Lighted substation is in the way. I think I moved all of these up one, right? I can't quite see properly. Uh, it looks like it's in the right spot. What about this one down here? Oh, I see. Okay, so this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here. Straight rail is in the way. Because this is supposed to be drop-offs. Dry tree is in the way. Where is this dry tree? Get out of here. I want to just be able to left-click it to be sure that there's nothing missed. There we go. And then this goes here, this goes here, one of these goes here. Where's my robots? Give me some green wire. I need a 2x2 two two strong box. Why don't I have one? I definitely requested them. Or did that get removed? I guess so. Alright. So now we need a source to pick up processed fuel. What are you doing here? Oh, was this a depot before you... I think this was a depot before I just changed it, and it was already on the way here. Also, did I change the name of that station, or no? I did. And these are all called Depot 2. Seems good. Trying K2 SE out and thought because K2 increases stack sizes, I could just make 
LCL trains, but SE it would not be balanced. Uh, SE drastically reduced it a bunch of stack sizes, going up to 0.6. So I just decided on leaving stack size vanilla and doubling cargo wagon from 40 to 80 stack size. What is the name of the bottom station? It is Mar Maru Frozen. Hmm. That's probably not what we're looking for. How about now? Seems good. Let's update our blueprint. Select new contents. Fantastic. Good catch, by the way. On top as well? Yeah. So there were three of them. All except for the exception, which is the fuel drop-off. All right, now we just need somewhere offering processed fuel to the rail network. And we've got processed fuel nice and close. Um, could I perhaps squeeze this particular piece of spaghetti in here? Seems good. And we want bulk rail loaders. Is that's off, isn't it? Yep. That probably is still wrong. Nope, that's right. That looks really weird. It renders the bulk rail loader in front of everything else. Uh, anyway, let's take some processed fuel. I could just limit the stack sizes here. One, two, three, four. And we could be super lazy. That'll be fast enough for the moment, um, but I would like to unload it faster anyway. Actually, let's just make sure. How much fuel does our train have? Where did he go? Where, where's our... Where's our train? There you are. Currently got 2.2 stacks of fuel. I'm sure it'll be fine. How do you go on another map when you open the editor? Uh, with the mod editor extensions, uh, whenever you go, like, control E, toggling the uh, editor mode, if you have mod settings per player and testing lab set to something other than off. That's how that works. And if you don't want to cheat, uh, pay attention to the little bit of information here that tells you to disable sync inventory. Okay. So that is fuel automatically in our rail network. Uh, 
we got copper plate, we got iron plate. We could perhaps... Oh, we've got tons of stone here now. Not worried about that. I could just start making blocks with one intermediate product at a time without too much thought about it right now. How much is this? Not that much. There's a much bigger patch over here. How's our pollution? It's going to reach those biters eventually. I think right now I'd just like to get something like iron gears into the rail network. Where did my bots just go? You know what? They can catch up. I just realized I don't have enough rail right now. Whoops. Let's go get some more. Can we go a bit faster? Thanks, no worries, you're welcome. And I went past it again. Let's grab some more cliff explosives than we normally carry. Lots of rail, even more rail. Uh, probably should get some more signals while I'm here. How's our science doing? It is still chugging along. Fantastic. I might make a rail block or two, and then we'll jump into space and bring the military signs. Have I filled this up? with... yes I have. Actually it's almost full of cargo rocket sections. Wow, good timing. So another 15 and that'll be packed. What other intermediate products? Let's do gears in this block, cylinders to the left of that, and multi-cylinder cylinder... multi-cylinder cylinders? Multi-cylinder multi -cylinder engines immediately after that. I should bring a depot up here as well, since we have some really short train trips in this area. ghosts. Oh, we do need that. Alright, so rail goes here. Train stop goes here, I think. wrong with this? Invalid train stop position? Okay. It worked elsewhere. Oh, is it because of the rails? The signals? Yeah. Pretty sure that's in the same spot. Uh, 
let's see. 16 and 16. All right, cool. All right, so we want bulk rail unloaders right about here and here. And then why don't we jump into editor extensions for this one? about here. Not quite. Seems good. Not quite. How about this? There we go. And then output down here. Don't really need this right now. We're going to build it to fit a beacon later on. Where is my beacon? Oh, I've got a million of them down here. And assembler threes. I don't think it's going to be difficult making the most of this beacon. So we got one product in, one product out. Uh, let's pretend we have a maximum level modules. Rods. Speed and efficiency until minimum uh, until we hit minimum power consumption. Let's put some pylon subs in here for not the moment. All right, minimum power consumption one point. I mean maximum. 1.4 megawatts, 400 kilowatts, I may have even overdone it there, 400 kilowatts, that is 13 speed nines. If it's going to be symmetrical, it's going to stick out like this, right? Oh, we can do two more. So what would the rate be like? Holy... Um... Wow? That's faster than expected. 24.75 frogs per second from one machine. Okay then. I guess... Uh, I guess in, like, the mid to late game, when we've got tier 6s. And how about a wide area beacon tier 1? So the number, of, when, when it gets to super late game, the number of machines is going to decrease, is the thing. I think we want seven tier sixes and 
this will be tier 6 prod and what's our power consumption negative 80 percent power consumption negative 40 percent probably go for the negative 80 So what would that look like? That is still four belts of cogs. How much is it going to be without the beacons or modules at all? Let's say we do have assembly threes already. Hundred and three per second. Uh, wait, that's got a beacon. Thirty per second. Okay. All right. I guess we're gonna just trim down the number of buildings as we, as our modules improve. Um. So we'll start with like this kind of shape. This is 12, which means with a basic beacon, we could do three of them. I like that. Uh, we want to make sure we get it right in the middle. So this is 10. Get rid of five. And this would go here, I think. Yeah, that looks right. How are you going to empty it that fast? We're not. I was just curious, because I want to make this um, so that we can do a clean upgrade path later on. Uh, and I, was, I wanted to peek ahead at what it would look like when we have higher tier modules and beacons. And as it turns out, we're just going to need fewer machines uh, as we go. So I'll build it to fit as many machines under one beacon to start with, and then we'll just remove what we need to as we go. So right now, I don't really care about uh, tier 3 assemblers. We're just going to go for tier 2s. Um, and that'll give us still more than expected. Just one column is 62 per second. But that's like two red belts. What about eight of these? One blue belt. The input belts could be like... I, I could stretch this out a bit horizontally. We get slightly more than one belt just from blue assemblers if we're looking at red belts. Uh, maybe I should just do like eight on each side. Forty one point four. Yeah, I can take that. So it's going to be the same input as output until we have prods. 
and we want to leave room for a whole belt of input, a whole belt of output. So, output down this way. Oh. Oh, I still have this beacon here, you absolute derp. Okay. That might make a little bit more sense. In fact, let me put a beacon without anything in it right here. Now we're looking at 18. Okay, that, that's more what I might have expected. Even so, I'll leave room for higher throughput. So each column is 18. This is 36. Uh, I don't see any room, uh, any reason not to leave room to have more belts of output later. So, it's just a bit more than a yellow belt. Uh, individually, we're looking at only 1.5 per second. Is that going to be a problem? No. Should be fine. Uh, except we do want to have half of these outputting to the near side. And then flip it around. Beacon, indeed. And I also want to leave room for basic beacons. So this will go here and here and here. Same thing on this side. Seems good. Just for the look of it, I might do it like this. I mean, I could just do nothing but undergrounds. Remove the beacons. And let's do our output station. Uh, standard requester. Iron plate. And how did I do it before? Uh-oh. much is in here? 770. I definitely set that too high. It is... it is balanced, though. Okay. That's good to know. I might drop this down to, like, 40k. Theoretically, there should be more than enough space for that, but that's not how it worked out. Oh, did I copy it from this? That might have been a mistake. Let's copy this while we're at it. Down here.
This is not going to be quite the same. But I do like this for balancing. We need a couple of strong boxes. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. IT hacks. I figured out later in my playthrough it's more effective to transport ingots and convert them into plates as needed in the train block. One stack of ingots equals 500 plates of copper slash iron slash steel. I did notice we have iron ingots. I haven't, like, played with them or anything yet. Um, but it is kind of early. We're just sort of getting things working at this point. Get out of here, cliff explosives. I mean... Get out of here, cliffs. Get out of my inventory and onto some cliffs. Cliff explosives. That's what I meant the first time. It's fine. Oh, and did I... I was going to copy this to... Now... Oh my lord. I'll build over here. I think that's right. And then... One, two, three, four. And down here as well. Seems good. Three quarter balancer? Wait, what? Ingots are by far the most efficient way to produce the to produce those three resources. Yeah, I haven't even seen ingots yet. Iron ingot. Two hundred and fifty molten iron. So it's not like we can turn plate into ingots. Or yeah, there's only one recipe for it. Casting machine and thermodynamics facility. We haven't unlocked those yet. We actually need iron ingots for prod science, or is this just one recipe? Iron ingot, delivery cabin and capsule. We can turn iron ingots into iron plate. One iron ingot equals 10 plate. Stack size is 50. Wow. And don't tell me there's a productivity bonus when we turn it from ingots into plate as well. That's kind of wild. How do we make these? Only one way. We do need eight iron ingots. Oh, right. I see what you mean. How much throughput do we need for this? Only 72, but still. Maybe I don't want to copy that for this purpose. Or maybe I'll worry about that when we're upgrading it. There's plenty of room. Doesn't quite line up. I do wish they found a way to let you just place this on top. Alright, that's lined up. No productivity bonus, sadly. It would be a little bit weird if there was one. Also, it would make you feel bad about doing it in space, so I guess there's that. Um, do I want the smaller box for the output? Probably. Did I do that here? I didn't even use a box. We used a balancer. There's not quite room to do it this way this time. I might have to redesign the balancer. 
I was about to make a wide one earlier. So let's see, we got... This moved over here, basically. And... This goes over here. So the inside ones go to the inside splitter, the outside ones go to the outside splitter, and both of them merge back into the final two. One goes to each. So something like this. But how do we make it smaller? How do we make it smaller? Or as small as it can be, of course. Can we do something symmetrical with this? Or kind of symmetrical, like we did here? Perhaps? If this goes here, that's not going to have anywhere to go. Maybe it won't quite be that compact. That goes there. And this goes here. I think that's... Uh, Waterfall. Looks good. I hate how ugly the science lines become when you try to belt every component. Uh oh. Alright, that is a waterfall. I'm pretty sure. And we should be able to fit it here-ish. Seems good. Maybe if I designed it with the outputs being separated in mind, it could look a little better. But I don't mind this too much. Underground. Really thinking of changing to a complete bot based build? Lose bots fast, but you. But who cares when you're making like 200 a minute on Nalvis? Well, it depends, I guess. You do have different uh, levels of bot interference wind in different places. I could probably stand to move this a bit further into the center. Oh, I lost track of where that was as well. It was here. No, it wasn't. It was here. I don't actually know that this is the center, though. Um, let's see. That's the center. I think I'd like it one tile closer in. Oops. So this goes... that's a little too short to be underground. So is that, I guess. All right, seems good. And remove the 
pylon substations for the moment. Uh, we're just a little bit off making this look really good with substations. It's fine. That could be a whole lot worse. And we're probably going to copy paste this layout for a couple of things. All right, let's do, uh, where are we going? Standard pickup. And it is iron gear wheel, otherwise known as cog. This is iron, why is this set to anything greater than zero? Oh, I've never clicked on this before. Is this different because I'm in editor extensions? Yeah, it's normally not operable. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I imagine copying this from here isn't going to cause any weirdness. I, I hope. We're definitely not going to touch the settings on that. Okay, so iron plate, uh, what is it? We could do 80,000 if we wanted to. Let's go 40k, seems like more than enough. Iron plate requester, hog provider, and I think that's it. All right, let's go for a new blueprint. Iron gear wheel. What did I call this? Let's just say basic cog. Okay, I probably missed a signal down here or something. No, nope, I actually didn't. Alright, let's leave that as is. And we'll put this into... It doesn't have snap to grid. Uh, why doesn't this one have snap to grid? Snap to grid absolute eighty six twenty four. There we go. And I will risk a shift click this time. I have a compact 4 to 4 corner balancer thing that you might find useful if you want. I actually built one myself, uh, or a few of them I should say. We got this one, which is a lane balancer as well. And we've got this one is also, it's not a lane balancer, this is just a bit more compact than this one. But thanks for offering. Why do a 4 to 4 splitter so complicated? Uh, it's not actually more complicated than a regular 4 to 4. Um, it's just... We're just moving the stuff around, basically. So that it fits differently. I think this goes here. No, I've run out of stops. And I can't handcraft one, because I have no glass. Is the fusion reactor still bad in K2? Do you mean like the portable RTG? We don't have those yet. We're running off of nuclear power for our power armor. 
Alright, I'm gonna go get some more train stops. I'm also gonna pick up... Uh... Some more trains. No, no, it's like nuclear reactor. Uh, I don't know. Alright, we got trains and trains. That is five in total. And... What else was I coming back for? Train stops. Should I grab anything else? My inventory is almost full, and it's a short trip. It's 8x4 or 4x8 tiles, so it can fit in narrow or short gaps. Nice. I could have got more assemblers while I was th No, it's red belts, actually, that we're missing. And blue inserters. But more to the point, I can make sure this is lined up. Also, we need to give it wire. Fantastic. Is this one... Whoops. This one up here... What the... Uh... Uh... What happened here? Oh no. One of those is off by one. Is it the copper plate build? I don't think so. I would prefer if it's this one that's off. Okay. So... The trouble with Snap to Grid Absolute is this makes it really hard to compare this. Yeah, no, the train stop is off by two tiles in this instance. Okay. Let's fix it over here. But that lines up with that? What? No, it should definitely be over one. Which means... yeah, no, this is in, like, the wrong spot. Is this it? No? Pretty sure that's correct. That looks right. This looks about right, except for this. And so on. Alright. Select new contents. That should do it. I'm just going to remove all this. And grab our blueprint. Have to manually put in the train loader, unloaders rather. That looks like it's in the right spot. Alright. Wire goes here, this goes here, and I think we're good once we come back with more belt. Select new consents was also buggy for me. Oh, really? Is this because of the... No, I don't think it was a bug. I think I just put it in the wrong place before with the train stop.
but the uh, the rail loaders and unloaders themselves I've had trouble with with blueprints in general. With bulk rail loader, you can't update contents of a blueprint. You need to recreate the blueprint. Oh. Okay, I want to see if we can actually make this work properly. All right, so we're going to... Instead of create new, it's snap to grid absolute 8624. 86 and 24. Green stop names, yes. Cog. Um, basic cog. Create blueprint. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this one so there's no confusion. And then. We're gonna place it again. This is already done down here. Bulk rail loader is in the way, sure. Huh, and there you go. So all I have to do is create it from scratch as if select new doesn't exist to avoid that problem. If you make a new blueprint, it'll work as intended. Nice, thank you. Missing one output from train unloader. Not that I can see. I might want to change it so that we've got uh, four belts of output from the train unloader. How much is this? It's only 72. Per second, that is. Not anymore. Okay. So I'm coming back with red belt. Blue inserters. And I think that's basically it. Oh, let's put trains down before we uh, before we go back as well. No mouse. Thank you for the follow. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One here, I suppose. I'll give you a little bit of fuel. Please go to depot. Oh, is this one programmed to come back to that depot name? It is not. Alright, is it going to get us our fuel? I didn't see where it went. Uh, where did that train go? Oh, here it is. It's going to get copper. Alright, so... Oh, I'm out of fuel, actually. Um, give that back, please. In fact, give it all back. I'm just going to put in a small amount until one of them is on its way. To get our fuel. Remarkably silly. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's copper plate. Can we prioritize this? Oh. It would probably help. It would also help if we had the fuel. That might be a good idea. I've taken it for granted all this time, but this is the first time I've tried to, I've tried to produce it at a larger scale or use it. Um, Alright then. Let's go sort that out. I've actually got fuel processes on me right now. And 
I think we'll just... Spaghetti this a little bit. Is this in the robot network? It is. Hey, Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Still gonna take a minute. I could cryo this. Let's get some blue inserters. What's this warehouse on rails? Warehouse on rails. Uh, Smeagol, it is called a bulk rail loader. Uh, it's basically one entity that does a whole lot of spamming in and out of trains. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, by the way. What else was I about to do? Oh, yeah. Blue inserters. Oh, and I was going to replace this, I think. The, one of the trains is already out of fuel. Okay. All right. I forgot to get red belts. That's kind of important. And the bots didn't bring them fast enough. To cover for my stupidity. Give to me all of that red belt, please. And some fuel. Fantastic. Okay. I guess we're going to end up with a bunch of trains out of fuel at this rate. How fast is this filling? Kind of fast. What's our rate here? Five per second? And we have... Uh... 4,380 to go. 876 seconds or 14.6 minutes before it triggers a delivery. I could just force a delivery straight away. It'll get rebalanced automatically. Oh, and we should probably make sure this actually has settings. Uh, that is in the robot network. I... No, it's not. Right side of the smeltery needs fixing as well. Okay. Provide stack threshold. I'm just going to set it to 1. Cryo. Super high. Until we get a train coming to pick this up. What's wrong with this? Same thing. Do we not have a train ready? Uh, yeah, because I didn't get them started. Maybe this one is doing it? There we go. Alright, I can change the priority back to normal for this. And provide stack threshold 80. And we can finally start using LTN screensaver. is 
I was going to say loading slower than expected. I think it's because the resources are flowing to here as well. Lolilo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I fix the right side of that smelter? I don't think I did yet. There we go. And I was going to replace this with just a 4 to 4. Like we have here. Let's turn these belts around for a sec. I know there's a train that is lacking fuel. Uh, I should have done this first. Rip. Item on ground. Get in my inventory for a moment. Why do I have this many logistic train stops? What mod is that train loader? It's called Bulk Rail Loader. Alright, copper ore, get out of my inventory. Copper plate to a less extent, yes, a uh, lesser extent, get out of my inventory. Let's balance these. And we should be good to go. Do we have fuel? We have fuel. Fantastic. Now where's this train that's out of fuel already? Oh, it's right here. Give me a stack of that back. Uh-oh. Nope. Give it back. There we go. Should I make depots that empty contents of the trains, or should I just try real hard not to accidentally leave stuff in the trains? When I originally did have the depots deal with stuff coming back that wasn't supposed to, it was because... It was mostly because I was inexperienced with LTN and the default settings were causing problems that way. It is sometimes convenient to be able to just send them back to the depot to have that sort itself out, but maybe this time I'll try not bothering with having that automatic recycling of crap that's in a train that's not supposed to be. How much, uh, it's going to be like 30 minutes to fill this, isn't it? Well, maybe not that. 8,000 over 5. 26.67 minutes. No, my estimate was actually really, really good. And yet this is more full than I would have expected. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's continue. LTN also has a cleanup script uh, you can install, so you can have cleanup stations. Hmm. Wait, is something out of fuel again? Did it leave without getting refueled? I know we haven't saturated everything just yet with the fuel situation. Here comes the iron plate. Fantastic. And we're just doing the left side because we'll easily have room to double this when it comes to that. Okay. Uh, I was going to do single cylinders after that. Let's go ahead and design that. Oh, 
copy this for starters. Uh, it's two inputs, one output, right? What if I'd use the same layout to begin with? And I was toying with the idea of bulk rail multi-stations for unloading. You have rampant biters? Yes, I do. The real gold hand? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. So let's say this is iron and gear drop off. And we just have probably the same number of assemblers making single cylinders. What's the rate going to look like? 60 and 60, 120 in. Uh... 30 in per column. We can do that with red belts. The only question is what it's going to look like coming out of the bulk rail unloader. That actually lines up shockingly well. Got plenty of room here, I think. Okay, so... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have changed that part at all. We could just go... No, we're definitely going to have to change this much. We're going to have to move it down a little bit, perhaps? And so we're going to do iron gear and iron plate. I don't want the gear on the left. Iron plate. I can't see the filters on this, but it'll work. Uh, how many stacks do we have here? 96. So if we have... it's stack size 100 for both, right? We're just going to say, oh, no, we need this, so that this will be red wire. Actually, we don't even need to know what the volume is of this. We're just going to say, no, we do, because otherwise it'll stop and start if I go like, Iron plate has to be less than or equal to iron gear or something like this. So we've got 48 stacks for each. This is gears. If gear less than 4800. If plate less than 4800. I don't care if it's slightly inexact. Like one, one of these is going to go over a stack or two. Uh, the, the important thing is just that it keeps flowing and there's room. Actually, I could just reduce the max a little bit. Uh, 4500 seems good. So there'll be a little bit of slack in this chest. And then we need to... If we're going to do it like this, we might need a bigger container. Because we need twice as many output tiles. 
So a four by four. Might make the input a bit tidier looking as well. Perhaps. That's actually really neat. Maybe I'll stick with doing it this way in future. Uh, so that's gear and that's iron plate already. Fantastic. Gear, iron plate. Gear, iron plate. It's going to be a bit tighter on this side. Gear, iron plate, iron plate gear. It's going to have to look like this. Could we do better? How will you prevent to be full belt of iron or gears this way. Now I see. Okay. No worries. Yeah, I think this would be cleaner than if we, like, filter it with splitters or something. That's actually really kind of tidy and cool looking. I kind of like that. And then we already have the 4 to 4 for the output. I think this is probably it. Uh, 20k each. Iron and gear. That should be pretty safe. What's the default train limit? Is it one, or is it, like, unlimited? LTN. Train limit. Nothing about it there. LTN? Oh, that's in startup. Let's just look at all the LTN settings. I don't think I've ever seen a train limit default in these settings. Hmm. Who knows? Default is unlimited. Okay. Should be fine. I think that's it. Let's blueprint. Snap to grid absolute. I believe it was 8624. Train stop names, yes. Uh, single cylinder engine. And we'll soon know if it lines up. Yes, it does. Fantastic. I think we're ready to place it. Of course, we will need to... Oh, shift-click, actually. And I'm going to need to go back for some assemblers... Probably fast inserters. And who knows what else.
Yeah, that little bit of fuel that I gave the trains lasted nowhere near as long as I thought it would. We need a 4x4 four four strong box. Oh, I'm sorry, storehouse. Strong box is the 2x2, two two, I think. Still got red belt left. We've run out of red undergrounds. Do we have enough up here? No. One, two, three, four. Uh, quite a few more than that, actually. Let's go back. Right after I fix this train. much of you got? Quite a lot, actually. Alright, I may as well place this rail while I'm here. What? How did you give 50 fuel to the train? Uh, right click. I think it was control right click, probably. It's kind of a muscle memory thing. Alright, let's go back for blue assemblers and blue inserters. And I don't know why I have all these train stops. Did I pick them all up when I was looking for... When I was going to make the depot, is that why? Whatever the case. Blue inserters. Blue assemblers. Where are the blue assemblers? Oh, here they are. Quite useful, thanks, you're welcome. Control to insert and right click to harvest stack, thank you. Novi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can't believe how quiet it's been for a while with the uh, Bida situation. I definitely need to remember next time I go into space. Oops. Oh no, I killed my bots. Ah. Uh... And whatever they were carrying, probably. I gotta be more careful with that, uh, jumping to the editor. I was actually meaning to go here. But yeah, um, the spaceship had a advanced lab. Can we even make those yet? We can. Pretty easily. Um, maybe I should take some more. Did I not get red undergrounds? Alright, let's handcraft some. Oh no, one job, indeed. Uh, but yeah, the... Maybe I shouldn't have a shortcut key to go to the editor, considering it can just delete my bots. I'll, I'll get it back to just being clicking a thing, perhaps. But I was going to say, since we've got a lab over here... We could at least double our very slow research rate. We might probably run out of research to do before we run out of stuff we're doing here anyway. This needs power. I haven't actually confirmed this works yet, so let's do that. There should be a train on the way with iron pretty soon. Or is it already? Yeah, this is it. Oh, and I didn't set it up. Uh, LTN should know what's in here, and we're going to use red wire so we don't cross-contaminate. Uh, 
how much can fit in here? 256 stacks. Let's say 250 over 2, 125. Um, if I inflate less than 125, 100. And if cog less than same number, that way we're going to have a little bit of slack left over and not overfill this with one thing as opposed to the other. Uh, but yes, that is working beautifully. Much, much, much easier to do a multi-station with this stuff and a lot more clean looking. I actually love the way this looks, except for how this sticks out slightly more than this. Cool. And next we're going to do multi-cylinder engines. I'll copy... what goes into multi-cylinder? Three things. I want to get the station in the right spot anyway, this time. It's, uh, it doesn't show here. Let's just copy this for starters. It is the three things we've already got. In what ratio? One to one to one. Now the question is, do we want to use more belts, or can we do a fancy sushi? Are you seriously telling me this entire thing is only going to be 3.6 per second? That is quite slow. Um, we would need a loop if we're going to do the sushi thing. It is, it is quite slow. That does encourage sushi. The entire thing only takes 7.2 per second input from each product, which is less than half of a yellow belt. Maybe second half of the output belt? Uh, yes. I think I, I think I understand what you mean, and it is about what I'm going for. Um, we just need to do the same thing as we already did. This is going to have to go over here. Unless... Hold on a minute. Whoops. If these looked like this, that could be pretty symmetrical looking. That's actually quite good. So we could do the same input management as we did last time. And instead of like four outputs from this, we can just have the one and it can loop around. With this reach, one off. One off. What if... What if, what if... Hmm. We could either do the balancer a bit differently to make room. I think that is what I'd like to do. Because we could have the input go like... Down, up, down, up, loop back. I 
if I move this over by just one tile... Then we could put this here. I don't hate this. But I feel like we can always copy this from somewhere else. Uh, I feel like we're probably going to be able to make it look a bit neater. If we start with something like this. Oh, also the output is going to be so slow we don't need like a 4 to 4. It's literally, it's only 3.6 per second. We literally just need a splitter. Um, in fact, we could probably not have the double belt outputs this time. I think even when we uh, beacon it up and stuff probably going to be pretty slow. It, we're probably going to change the shape of it significantly by then. Anyway. So just normal vanilla behavior for the inserters. Not putting to the far side of the belt. And we're just going to have literally a splitter to put these where they need to go. Or would it look cleaner if this was here? Probably. I don't know. Okay. Um, and this would go over here. And then we just need to do our sushi magic. So on one side of the belt, it's just going to be whatever. Let's say iron plate. Whoops. And on the other side, we're going to have one of these. Uh, left side only. No, wait. That's wrong. Right side only. I think it doesn't matter. The important thing is we're bottlenecking it to just one belt. We have our inputs. Like so. And for our output, we have exactly half of what we normally would. Except what we actually want is... I could do it this way. Iron plate on both sides of the belt. That works. And then when stuff loops around, we bring it back in over here. 
Why doesn't it output only half? Uh, it is outputting half. So what we've got here is... We're taking a belt of input. Let's delete this. We're splitting it so that whatever input we're getting, we're getting half out. And the other half has to go somewhere. Uh, let's say we just void it. That's one way that we could make sure that this is half of whatever we're putting in. But instead, we're recycling... Uh, I'm actually surprised that's working without the input priority. Input priority right. So we're prioritizing the recycled stuff here, so this gets slowed down. And we're just outputting half of whatever can come through. Can only squeeze through this bit right here. Um, like that. Oh, the penny drops. Fantastic. Um, so the question is, can I use this layout with... Oh. Oh, even better. I think. Can't we just put stuff straight back in there? I wonder. As long as we make sure there's always some space in here, it should work out okay. So we're going to go gear, whoops, single cylinder, iron plate, and this contraption. And put it in like this. It's kind of a weird fit. Let's see if this works. Uh, where would the substation go? Probably like here. So we want... Did I have this over here? No. We have 256 stacks. Let's call it 250. Over 3. 83 stacks. Uh, do each of these go to 100? I think this goes to 50. Okay. So, iron. Less than... 8,300. Let's just go 8,000. There's no reason to squeeze in every little bit we can. And then... Here is going to be the same. Single cylinder is going to be half of that. I think that's basically it. Let's do some infinity chests. Uh, super inserters. Conditions. Iron plate. Single cylinder and cog. And iron plate 
less than, let's say, 10k. Same if it gives. Half of that for single cylinder. It's probably plenty safe. Wait, what? Why is this... Oh, oh, it's not filtered yet. Okay, 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 okay. Which one's this supposed to be? Gears. And single cylinder engines. Our sushi belt is working correctly. Does it recycle okay, though? What's with these inserted? Oh, there's not enough power. We've got, like, a little bit of power from the wind. It won't break if the belt isn't fully consumed. That's why we're looping it back in. And part of what I'm trying to figure out is, are we leaving enough space here to make sure that whatever comes back here will be put back in? It should be okay. I think this is our block. Alright, so it's... Iron plate, gear, and single cylinder engine. Requester. Oh, are we going for... How much can we fit? We've got 320 plus, let's say 200. Let's just call it like 800 stacks. About 266 stacks for each. This is 200. Sure, let's just go 200 stacks of single cylinder. Should be fine. And this is multi-cylinder engine provider. 80 tiles per train, 256 space in storehouse. Yeah, it should be fine. I hope so. It's, it's still working really slowly. Oh, because I got rid of the, the power thingy. Alright, and we have to go new blueprint. Uh, 86 and 24 is our snap to grid. 86, 24. Train stop names, yes. Multi-cylinder engine. Fantastic. Uh, basic... Multi-cylinder engine. And throw it in our... Blueprint book. Looks like that's working. Yep, it's not filling up more than this. That's actually perfect. I'm quite happy with that. Maybe we could use some more storage. Nah, it's fine. But what did I set this to? 10k of each? And we're requesting 20. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, back to the main game. I'm loving this being able to instantly jump into editor and not being held up by a missing resource or something in the design phase. You've got the infinite chest on the blueprint? Uh, yes I do. Not anymore though. Question for the people who told me 
select new contents doesn't work. If I just remove these with right click from the blueprint, is that still going to be okay with the bulk rail loaders and unloaders? I forgot to put a signal. Oh no, I didn't. Demon BM. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome also. Pretty crucified with my coverage setup. 1300 light green rocks per minute. Uh, pretty chuffed. I don't know how I misread that that badly. What mod is that that adds the edit area? It is called editor extensions. Um, but you'll also need to go settings, mod settings, per player. And it's the testing lab. Switch that to something other than off. And if you don't want to cheat, read the tooltip. There's another setting to switch off whereby it'll, it will or will not bring what's in your hand over from editor extensions, uh, the editor space. Worked for me, and I removed super power poles a lot. Removed super power poles. Oh, right. With the, yeah, 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 with fixing the blueprint. Okay, cool. So we can just right click on these. I thought that was a meteor or something on the right. Oh, or I could have just gone right click, right click. That would have been easier. In fact, let's make sure I didn't accident accidentally uh, delete something else. Fantastic. Alright, I need to request a lot more red belt, or rather just pick it up and be good. That's a lot of red belt. Could use some more undergrounds though. Splitters are easy to keep up with. There is a weird rail right top of the MCE block. Is it the same weird rail I removed from the last one? Yes, it is. Can I carefully right-click this, perhaps? And what about here? Get out of here. Cog has it as well. Copper does not. So this one's fine, this one's fine, this one's fine. No path? What do you mean, no path? Where are you trying to go? Oh, that might be true. And here they come. Perhaps. I need a 4x4 four four chest. I can't make a 4x4 four four chest. Oh no. Um, we should probably get steel into this. What's this? Space platform scaffold. We're about to get Automation 3. Let's go get some bigger containers. I probably don't need to be carrying 200 uh, wind turbines at this point. Did I not just... Oh, it's still 50 to infinite woods. What was I looking for? Blue assemblers. Um, chests. Four by four by four chests. Give me that. And then I can't think of anything else. I think that's basically it.
Okay. Doop. Fantastic. Do we already have our three resources? We do. What a beautiful sight. Should we do one more block in the rail network before we go to space, or should we go to space next? I don't think we need to worry about pushing the biters back for at least 12 seconds. I would like to get rid of all these purples. Down south. I should probably go repair the scratches on some of our walls as well. Uh, actually, maybe it's about time I make the spaghetti rail accessible to LTN. And I could make... Well, we're a little bit far from having everything we need to put certain things into the rail network, like bots and repair packs. Maybe I should focus on getting into space, getting... A handful of utility and production science packs and then we can get proper logistic network bots. It's 250 utility science packs which is what? Not that much cryonite. We have to build a bit of a space base, though, to get it done. And I don't want to start by building a crappy space base. I don't mind this, but I don't want it to get out of hand. I want... I want an actual, like, rail block or something. something to think about. What would we do in the rail network next that's relatively easy? Probably small electric motors? I don't particularly feel like doing small electric motors just yet. So I think we'll jump into space, we'll take our military tech cards, um, we'll get at least one more lab set up, where are these guys coming from? Way back here. You can go get that spaceship early. Do you mean this one? We got that. Owen Morin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why are you still using wind turbines? Don't they give... An insignificantly small amount of energy. They're not that bad. Uh, 20 kilowatts, but it's just always on. And I mean, I think solar panels were buffed, but they don't fit. Actually, they probably do fit about as well. Yeah, I forget that these are actually the same size. They look like they should be two by two. What if we squeezed accumulators in here? Except later on it's going to be 4x4 four four solar panels, is the thing. And I don't see somewhere cozy to put those in the rail blocks. Besides which, these are what we've got at the moment. I'll probably uh, spam quite a few wind turbines on... Hagen, because that is particularly bad solar. 
Wind on the Crynite planet would be better than solar for infinite energy. Yeah, definitely. But it's also just like every everywhere we extend our rail network, we've got a little bit more power. Um, it just sort of mitigates things. We don't have to think about expanding our power as often. It more than covers the minimum power cost of the machines in a block. Do other planets have different wind strength? I think I asked someone else that and they said it does, they do not. You have different robot interference wind, but not actually wind itself. The, uh, the wind turbines are from Crastorio too. That's probably why. That is quite a few multi-cylinders already. Considering how quickly we don't need them. Alright, I think I'll take a little break there. Uh, normally I would probably leave it on LTN screensaver when we have LTN stuff happening, but... Considering how threatening the biters are at this point, I think I might just pause it. Hey, Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just about to take a little break. Words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Veldak will cheer. And good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Oh, just one to go. Fantastic. All right, let's continue with space exploration, shall we? And I believe I was just saying I would go to space again. Let me just check on our defensive walls first. This one hasn't even been touched as far as we know. I don't think I've ever seen the biters come this way. Considering we've got exactly three stacks of ammo in here. Yeah, I don't think they've actually been... Kills. Zero. One. One. Zero. One, two, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, what about here? Nothing. Literally zero kills. Huh. That's a little bit surprising. Uh, the damage on the wall is still all in the green. Except for here. But I think we can definitely afford a trip to space at this rate. And down south. This one's been chewed away at, but it is quite thick. And they're still attacking pretty much the same spots all the time. I think it was misanthrope and not rampant that would have the heat maps so that biters would keep attacking different spots until something worked. Okay, I think we can definitely go to space right about now. Should we make some more advanced labs? Research is a little slow since we put those prod modules in. I could move these two to the side and then... And then we could have as many labs as we want in a row here. I think there's also a beacon up here. And I think they changed it so that the basic beacons did work in space. Yeah. So we can give that some speed modules. Can't really fit it here very well. I could move the recycling. Basic beacon. Uh, it's not here because I haven't researched it yet. But it is 3x3, three three, I believe. There we go. We could have like four, even five. Let's, go, let's make it like four labs. We'll bring a couple more labs. How are we going to make them? Probably by handcrafting. Let's get some glass, single cylinder, automatic core. Oh. Single cylinder, and I think that's it. Perfect. We can only make space rail in space, right? Oh, this again. Well, we don't need this here at this point. Let's get rid of it. Um, and then there were bots. 
Are these all the ones that have been teleported away from me? Space rail. Uh, I think we want FNEI, actually. It is only made in a space manufactory. So yeah, I definitely don't see the harm in leaving some rail up there. Do I want to maybe take a trip and try setting up on Hagen? Have we finished scanning it? We have. That is all of the cryonite. Uh, quite a lot of copper. Probably not much iron. Oh, it's supposed to be more iron than copper. There's also Holmanite. Immersite Cave. I haven't seen one of these yet. Where do I find it? What does it look like? Is it marked on the map? Or does it just actually show Immersite like a resource on the surface? Or is it like an oil node, perhaps? Top right big purple blobs? Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay. And there's a finite amount. Do we ever get... Immersite core fragments. Cool. Yeah, there's quite a lot going on in Hagen. Uh, I could... The thing is, if I leave a bunch of stuff there to build a bit later, I'm concerned about... Uh... Concerned about it getting hit by meteors. I think we'll set up a cargo rocket to go to Hagen. And we'll fly the spaceship to orbit for when I want to leave. Let's get rid of these chain signals. Uh, yeah, I'll want to come back with the space capsule, so I want my inventory to be fairly empty. So let's just take what we need. I could take the space capsule? No, I'm taking the cargo rocket with the uh, science stuff and the cargo rocket sections. So we'll have an abundant source of those in space for a while. I'm definitely taking the advanced labs. Uh, I should take some tier 2 speed modules, actually. How many things fit in a beacon? Basic beacon? Stack size 10 to 8. Oh, stack size 10, 8 module slots. Okay. 8 module slots. 1, 2, 3, 4. I need some single cylinder engines. Whoops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Fuel shouldn't be hard to produce on a planet with lots of oil, definitely. Um, oh, and I left a couple of speed... No, wait, th that's my inventory. Dap. Okay. Should probably remember these vulcanite blocks. Should be in the robot network in case I wonder where they are later. We will be needing some life support. That's the spare thruster suit. Hmm. 
what have I got in my... Well, I want to have the life support regardless. And I'll get out of my inventory for now. Okay, so what we're taking up is 9.6k data cards of each type, including military, uh, enough to make 3,000 space platform scaffolding, 107 times 5 cargo rocket sections, and can we think of anything else I want transported up there? Just to shove into my inventory. I think we've got plenty of stone. We've been sending ex extra stone for a while, right? Oh, how much lubricant? We've got lots of lubricant. That's not running out anytime soon. I mean, we've kind of sent all of the intermediate products, right? Most of what you need can be made on Hagen, you just need to set it all up and kickstart it? Yeah. I'm more concerned about... Um, I should probably get to the point where all of our defensive walls are fully automated before I go to Hagen, and we should have, like, many hours... Oh, if I'm going to add labs, I need more prods. Do we have prods here, actually? I see prod 1s. Did we never make prod 2s? I guess not. Probably didn't have the prereqs in here. Um... So what do we need? Red, green, and sulfur. I don't think sulfur makes its way over here. Probably because it's not put in a passive provider chest. Well, that's easily remedied. What about the RoboPort Reach? There we go. Although, I'm surprised it's crafting... Oh, it's because I took these earlier. Anyway, uh, give me some sulfur. Actually, give me some fuel. One... It's six of these that I'm making, right? Two, three, four. I need red and green circuits, actually. Uh, where would they be? They're in here, but that's going to create a lot of work for the bots. Whatever. Why is there 111 green circuits? Okay, one, two, three, four, and sulfuric acid again. Five, six. Two. Oh, it's it's nine that we need actually. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. Come to think of it, we could grow some space trees. Wait, no, this won't let us put it in space, will it? Or will it? Greenhouse? I don't see any text saying it won't go in space. Oh, there it is. Cannot be placed on space platform, spaceship. Does that mean we can place it on 
on rocks in space? Probably not. Alright. So we got our labs, speed modules, prod modules. Uh, don't need the low level prod modules. Can't really see anything else that we urgently need to take up there. So I feel like I should just fill my inventory with whatever. Probably more inserters. Seems good. And then... Did we ever get stuck wanting to craft something in space? And we were missing something? I don't... It doesn't look like it. Not that I can see. Okay. I could take more sides while we're at it. How many stacks have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, ninety-seven. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six types of science. Sixteen stacks each. I don't see why not. Curious how they keep filling up that same stack. Not the first one. Did I miss something? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is basic tech cards. Yeah, we're not going to be needing those in space. So I've got 17 remaining over five, so we can do three more each, evenly. And I guess more military tech cards, because those sort of stand on their own. Alright, I think we... Oh, I could take some old life support. Life support. Why do I only have 20? Because there's no blue circuits in here? Well, it'll be enough for now. Let's get in that rocket. We've got our life support. Fantastic. We're not getting attacked by biters this very instant. Nervous orbit landing pad. And go. Beautiful. And we didn't even crash. One, two. Beacon. Speed. Prods, 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 prods. And once more with feeling. Prods. 
Fantastic. Alright, let's drop off the rest of these. One, two, three, four, five. Military tech card. So we have uh, 4.8k of everything else left, 4.1k military. We have only a, only a thousand stone left. One stone equals one space science pack, ignoring everything else. So let's get some more stone. I don't think there's any... Oh, here it is. I stand corrected. And, uh, can I put it in here? Not very much. Alright. 4.8k and military is 4.1k. We got, uh, 600, 1100 queued up already. Ignoring the fact that we've half finished this one, actually. Definitely getting Inserta limited with your labs. Well, oh, I, I'm pretty sure we're super bottlenecked on the space science packs now. Well, that was the goal, anyway. If I had a container for the space science packs that were accumulating this whole time, we'd have a bit of a burst. Are we really bottlenecked on less than one lab? Huh. Oh, but we have a beacon now, so it's actually, like, more than three times as fast with the one lab. So yeah, this is ridiculously overkill, actually. We have a spaceship already? What did I miss? Uh, possibly that there is some Grand Theft spaceship that you can do. Might have been something like that. Cool band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I will leave the circuits here. In fact, everything except for life support. Let's grab the... Oh. Right. The rest of the military... Uh, the rest of the tech cards. I almost didn't realize. That's, um... That's gonna keep things going for a while. We need, what, two more... I think, I think that's it. Rocket science. Military science. Need another chest. How about this one? Green science. Blue science. Military science. And... A red science. Let's not forget to set up construction of scaffolding, which we can use one of our small assemblers for. Do I not have those lying around? Did I handcraft like exactly two of them or something? Do we have a free space manufactory lying around? I don't feel like going to the trouble at the moment. It would also be super convenient to see that happen really quick. Here it is. Uh, how about here? In Sutter? Scaffolding. And you know what? Probably just put the scaffolding back in here as well. Fantastic. 
We've got slightly less steel than everything else. Where's my steel? Oh, it's here. We need it for this. I'll just leave that as it is for now. Alright, let's go back to... Nelvis. We need five solid rocket fuel, actually. Oh, don't tell me. I didn't even... I didn't even use the jetpack and it consumed a bit. Bruh. Well, I should probably make sure I have some for my jetpack, actually. Down we go. Oh, is it because of the... Yeah, now we only need four. All right, back to Nelvis. And we'll start thinking about what we need to put in the cargo rocket to go to Hagen. Does scaffolding have to be made in space now? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You know what I could have done? I could have speed moduled this. Um, then I probably would have had to speed module it. Let's not worry about it. It'll ultimately get done faster than we're doing stuff, most likely. What's this power problem here? Oh. Yeah, that would probably help. Where is this even? Oh, I see. Okay. So in our... Not at all automatically. Oh crap. Never mind. I think that was the wrong inserter to remove. Uh, I was gonna say in our not at all. You know what? We can take this to Hagen. Our not at all automatically loaded cargo rocket. Um, let's think about what Hagen is going to need. I want at least 12 uh, media defense installations. Lots of ammo. Let's get our inventory managed as well. That's media point defense. What a tease. Are we not making these? Oh, I see. We'll need a cargo landing pad. Should probably take at least a couple of stacks of pump jacks. Definitely a stack or two of assemblers. Pre uh, prepping to go to a new planet? Yes. The new planet will have everything we need, technically, but we want to have... Um, why don't I do, like, Control-4 for a shortcut for Hagen? Yay, indeed. Alright, let's start with this. Ooh. They went to the trouble of different graphics for the different core fragments. With the uh, seams, that is. 
Control 4, vegan, planet, I think it might be technically a moon, no it's a planet, it's over 4000 radius, I'm pretty sure that's how that works, nope it's a moon, oh 3800 radius, there you go, is it only the one, it's only the one to the f far to the right that is the planet, right? This is a planet that's only 200, uh, 2,000 radius, actually. Anyway. Um, oh, there it is, Hagen. So this is our origin point. This is our zero, zero. one point nine mil iron right next to the middle isn't bad this is 10 mil this is 8.4 this is 16 yeah I think um I think we're gonna have enough resources for a while just on the surface of Hagen not counting coal mining it is a little short on coal we could always delivery cannon we don't have a whole lot of room to make, like, nuclear plants, but it's not that bad. If there are no biters there, then why not move the entire base? Yeah, that is the idea. I just don't want to completely abandon Nalvis, and I want to keep building this stuff out a bit so that we've got, like, uh, a good start as well. I want to check something, actually. Logistic network. Utility science pack. That is cryonite. Yeah. So Hagen is where we need to go to get our bots working properly. Liquefaction does the opposite of what we want. Indeed. <laughs> Oh wow, we already have this many bluebirds? Hell yes. Nice. Should probably take some of those to Hagen. In fact, why don't I just... Why don't I just... Borrow those? get some more jetpack. Where be my power armor things? Uh, I think I want the battery back there. Do we even need a battery? Only for combat. I'm going to burn a little bit of fuel whenever I waste a bit of, uh, like, swap out something that has a charge like that. But I'm going to try to pretend that it doesn't bother me. Alright, we need some combinators. Uh, we've got those right here. Oh yeah, we want some splitters. Probably more splitters than this for the entire plat. That's a lot of belt. Beautiful. We'll want to take a bunch of intermediate products so that we can react to things that we forgot to bring. Uh, we'll definitely want a bunch of pipe. Let's get a lot of steel pipe. We've got that over here, actually. But it's bot-fed. Uh, I would like to get... Steel underground pipe in particular. 
at scale. You know what? I don't... Hey, by the friendo. Good boy. I don't particularly see myself building out any more than this, so let's just be lazy. And if I'm wrong, it'll be easy to move. It's just like regular pipe, but with steel. Is this in the robot network? It is not. And I want these to have a setting reading from the robot network so that we don't need any wire. Do I really not have... Alright, fine. Steel pipe less than... 2,000. Steel underground pipe less than 1,000. It's really the undergrounds I'm more interested in. Maybe I should just ignore the regular steel pipe. How much is it? Oh, it's one steel? We can... we can use that. One trick you can do is to ghost build on the planet before you go there. That's true. Although... I don't know exactly... We're gonna land at the center plus or minus a significant radius, right? I hope I don't land on uranium. That would be a little uncomfortable. I definitely want to get core mining going. And while we're at it, I would like to get um, fluid smelting figured out before I go there. I guess we could figure out a build for that right now. Wait, do we get... Uh, I don't know how to, like, spawn a core seam here. Cliffs, tiles, resources... I don't know if I even can. Entities? Can I search this? Um... Environment? Media scorch mark. Probably not what we're looking for. Why can't I search? Oh, here we go. Or... Why does that come up in core? That's not helping us narrow it down. How about scene? Yeah, that's not much better. Alright, I guess I won't worry about it for a second. Actually... The core mining drills will give us core fragments that are that don't include fluids, right? As in the fragments themselves are not fluid. Yeah, I remember doing some testing with this actually. That'll be fine. So all we actually have to figure out is like uh what to do with the pulverizers and stuff. Oh, 
for Ariza. We get we do get Pyroflux from Vanilla Core Fragments. But I'm guessing it's like probably not enough to support say liquid smelting iron and copper. Um, Cryonite Core Fragment, of course, gives us regular Core Fragments as well. That's a lot of resources, yeah. Alright. We will have access to Pyroflux, but... I doubt it'll be in volumes that... are good enough to use all the time for, like, smelting. Vanilla core fragments, vulcanite core fragments, sand and vulcanite block. Huh. Wait, really? I thought we would get this liquid and have to turn it into vulcanite blocks. Or is that also true? Sand and pyroflux makes glass. Pyroflux and enriched copper makes molten copper, molten iron. We can turn it into random stuff. Okay. Steam and a little bit of iron, copper, and stone. Barrel. We need it to make ingots, probably. The iridium. Iridium blast cake. Molten beryllium, molten holmium, aquium ingot. We can make solid rocket fuel out of it, I saw that before, and we can destroy it. Alright, so basically, at this stage, it's sort of optional. But we can't turn it into vulcanite, is what I was curious about. So, vanilla core fragments don't actually give us any vulcanite, like they used to. Core fragment... Uh, I... No, I'm looking for a regular core fragment. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 32% uranium ore. That's a lot higher than it used to be. Like, way higher than it used to be. Maybe just burn off the pyroflux? I don't know about that. Space pipes crafting on planet... Wait, what? Those aren't space pipes? Yeah, those are steel pipes. Uh, that's a lot of steel pipes. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Alright, put these in here, fantastic. It's really more the underground steel pipe I'm interested in. I think they introduced Pyroflux to kind of pay for the power usage, since you can turn it into steam. Now there's a lot to think about here. So, on Hagen, we don't have any source, direct or indirect, for Vulcanite. Uh, that's different. 
what was it I was gonna figure out? It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't coal mining. I got a little distracted. Oh, that's right. We were gonna do a smelting build with. Uh, it wasn't gonna quite be like this. But I could borrow the layout for the furnaces at least, potentially. I wanted, first thing I wanted to see if ten pyroflux makes seven fifty molten copper. Oh, pyroflux and enriched copper. So enriched copper is physical. Because there's only one fluid input. Enriched copper. How do we make it again? I think I might have I might have seen it before. Uh it there's only one recipe. Chemical plant, advanced chemical plant, biochemical facility. We just add sulfur and water. And then we get dirty water. What do we use dirty water for? We can get stone and iron and water out of it. Uh, we can get stone and copper and water out of it. Do we actually just choose what we want to get? What? Raw rare metals. Okay, so we get stone. We get a little bit of other stuff. We can barrel it. Or we could just get stone out of it. And I guess lose the water. Oh, that's a th for a flare stack. Filtration plant or decontamination facility. Interesting. So that's when we make the enriched copper to begin with. We get dirty water. Well, in this block we're not going to be thinking about that. So we need sulfuric acid and water. Wait, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So there's a belt in, fluid in, and only fluid out. If I'm not mistaken. And if we alternate these, I think... Wait, that's probably wrong. Well, what's the rate these need individually? 1.6 enriched copper per second. And then... Oops. Easy enough. So far, so good. And output pipe is going to look much the same. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Oh, I can't flip that. How dare you. Was it like this? I think that's right. How much uh, fluid throughput are we talking here? 1.2 thousand molten copper, that's not that much really. Hardly any pyroflux. Wait, are you telling me this entire block consumes 16 pyroflux per second? And we get how much from a core fragment? Actually, let me just put down this. This will be easier. Uh, vanilla core fragment gives us 
full pirate flux. So four fragments, oh sorry, 20 fragments gives us four. Four recipes gives us enough pirate flux for how many seconds of operation of this? More than four. Six seconds of this thing running, which would give us um, 300 molten copper. We would need 9.6 enriched copper. How much do we get here? Uh, 8 copper ore. Somehow I don't think that's going to add up to... What was it? 9.6 enriched copper? Which machines did we need? Chemical plant? chemical plant. So where is it? Here we go. Enriched copper. Let's ignore the sulfuric acid and the water for now. Nine copper gives us nine. Oh, it's one to one. And that's for productivity modules. Interesting. Very interesting. That ratio might be pretty close to what we... If we're looking at one resource only, it's pretty close to what we get. Yeah. We're not going to get enough uh, pyroflux to molten smelt everything that comes out of core fragment mining but maybe we could prioritize what we use fluid uh use molten smelting for based on what we're behind on mm -hmm. Four pyroflux from 20 fragments, indeed. To be fair, the miner chucks out the fragments at a rapid pace, yes. Other sources of flux, we'd have to go to other planets. But as for the actual layout of this build, it's actually shockingly easy. Really, really, really slow pyroflux input. Uh, 1.2k molten copper out, which is like, with this many pipes, that's trivial, really. Uh, my next question would be, should we deal with the molten copper in the same block? Molten copper... There's only... Oh, there's only one way to make it. So we can make copper ingot, or nothing, okay. We need a casting machine. Is that the only version that we can use on the ground? I'm pretty sure. Where did... Where did that go? There it is. No my dynamics are still... Oh, this surface just doesn't count as... Yeah, cannot be placed on land. Okay. Casting machine. Do we have this at this point? We do. For heat shield, concrete, EC, and steel plate. It's not hard to make. Is it my imagination, or was I standing over here before? Maybe it's just me. Maybe Bite a Friend I was playing pranks. Loving the slight but not too hard complexity. We'll see. Don't make the mistake I did and design the furnaces with the casting machines close by. There's a lot of molten metal to deal with. Hmm. 250 molten copper. So one of these recipes makes three ingots. 
What's the problem? It's one in, one out. We can do fluid input either way, either side. It looks kind of like they stole the uh, steel furnace. Yeah, they totally took the steel furnace and changed it a bit. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I designed my furnaces with the casting machines attached to them. Also, they are beaconed and modded. I was thinking about that, because what's the rate going to be like? Also, the size and shape of it might be super convenient. Uh, we are positive on molten copper here, so far. Let's see, 50 per second consumes only 10 per second. I don't see how I could fit four of these if it's direct. So something like this, maybe. But that would still not be the perfect ratio. Except these can have prod modules and these cannot, as it turns out. I was, I was surprised that they could have any modules, but it turns out they can't have prod modules. Speed mod the casting machines, indeed. So if we don't even have prod modules, um, let's say we put, let's, let's say we're still doing this early game. Speed twos. We're still net positive on molten copper. How about speed threes? Still positive. Speed threes and prod threes. Uh, that is net negative on molten copper. And... I'm guessing this is positive. No, it's not. Uh, but if we beacon it, it probably changes. Basic beacon? Say... Some efficiencies and speeds, so it's minimum power consumption. It actually takes way more efficiencies early on to do that. Oh, in fact, I think we'd have to go all efficiency? We'd have to go all efficiency for that to just be neutral. Hmm. Well, that wouldn't affect the speed at all. What if this was all speed modules? That's really power expensive. But the rate becomes... Uh, positive 60 molten copper? Oh wait, what about this? Positive 44 molten copper? That's, that's kind of surprising. Is there anything wrong with just putting it in a train? Because we can we can have a block that keeps up with this exactly wherever we want. Or we could just have one side smelt the molten copper and the other side deal with it. Rate calculator, was it? Uh, yes. Green and red numbers remind me of what mod does again. Yeah, this is rate calculator. I imagine that would be the design you'd want to do then. What's that? You can chain them. They function as a pipe. Oh, like this? Like the old, um... 
uh, boilers, kind of. I can directly attach caster to caster, indeed. So all of a sudden it's a lot easier to find our ratio. Yeah, that's pretty good. Although I don't like I don't like where this is going with the layout. Also, what was that? How did I do that? I was like dragging I think rate calculator and then I right clicked, no? Blueprint, right click, no. S Control C, right click, no. How did I do that? QP Hong, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So they do damn shows you what some people know. Uh, indeed. They have flow through, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I just want to see this first. Can we, in fact... I don't think trains mind taking 5,000 degrees steam. Fluid wagons, that is. So they probably don't mind taking molten copper. I wouldn't be shocked by this. Fluid. You'd think we need special pipes for this or something, but I guess the game just doesn't really support it. Molten core temperature 1100. Yep. Uh... Molten copper fluid wagons it is. Just make sure it doesn't solidify in transit, indeed. Oh, the beauty of design. Yeah, the thing is, we can have whatever layout we want and take the molten copper somewhere else and have whatever layout we want. But... There's literally only one recipe for it. So, it doesn't really make sense to throw it into the rail network. Hmm. I shouldn't have deleted that because I want to copy paste this. Or at least Q. How many of these would it take if we're not using modules to keep up with this? Net rate, 1,000. What's our total rate? 1,200. Oh, this is barely getting started. Uh, how much is this? 200. Only 200? Oh, no. Um... Okay, that's net negative a thousand. That is negative one hundred. What was what are they individually? Ten. Okay, perfect. Now, can we actually fit the physical outputs somehow? We could have belt. Pipe, inserter, so, repeating, and we need how many? This is actually positive 100. Okay, 
I don't love that layout, but we have something that could work. What's the ratio here? 120 to 24. 1 to 5. Hmm. Why are there four outputs if it's 1 to 5? How dare you? They have no modules? Yeah, that's true. Have the casting machines benefit from speed modules on beacons, also used near the furnaces? Yeah, I know. I'm just thinking about... Do we want to... Do we want to have an earlier build that doesn't use modules yet? Since we're not spamming them that easily. Or do we use crappy modules? We need to go into planetary to get tier 3s. Weirdly enough. You can have all of them in a row feed into each other. Oh, I, I did put... No. Oh, 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 oh. I did make a slight mistake here. What I was going for was actually this. That's a little bit more tidy. But... More to the point. What if we do it with tier 2 modules? Do we want to build this before we go to other planets and stuff? I'm kind of curious. Can't really do it like that, can we? Uh, bacon. Can't do it the way I had in mind. I don't think. Tier 2 modules. No bunk. Rod 2s. What's our rate like here? We need power to be sure. Net rate is... Not that good, actually. We're making 94 and we're 38 over. Have the fluid be parallel with the belt. Parallel with the belt? Oh, like this? I don't think that makes that much difference, does it? I'd like to do a little self-contained unit that we keep repeating like this, but I don't think it's going to work out that way. Unless... How oh, can we stretch this? Probably not as far as I would like. That's just barely touching, right? And then... Oh, that, that, that might go somewhere. What's our rate here? Negative. Which is maybe what we want. We could go slightly positive or a bit negative. Let the casters come out in rows of five. Why rows of five? I don't think I'm going to like the layout for this no matter what we do. I also despise how much power this is going to cost. Uh, Diffin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 
So we're going to get 94 molten copper per second. Less than... We're probably going to get like 0.4 copper ingots per second out of one of these. Cole Wacky, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget you have to take out stuff... You have to take out stuff from the casting machines. Yeah, I know. I don't see a world where... I put the casting machines... Right next to the furnaces. What's the rate like here? Let's let's lose the modules for the moment. Uh that's actually not No, it's bad. We need double this to get zero. Hmm. That's actually kind of getting closer to something neat. If these machines were a little bit wider, I could do a zigzaggy belt. But I'm pretty sure we can't here. There's just going to be nowhere for that to output. Oh wait, these aren't going to exchange fluid, are they? That's not going to work. Which means this would have to be more like this. So that's uh, exact ratio, I believe. Hmm. I don't hate this as much. So what if we... something like this. That's kind of neat. Perfect ratio for the fluid. 1.6 ingots per second. We could probably double that. that's not quite what I'm going for. I could live with that if we're going to do a module build for this. So what's our input? A whopping 25 enriched copper per second, and 10.67 pyroflux. You can have three furnaces with one space between them and still have them benefit from one beacon. Three furnaces with one space between them? What do you mean? All casters can be below furnaces. Uh, I kind of like this. I really like that, like, this is an exact ratio. And then you'll want to turn the ingots into normal copper, eventually, yeah. Um, we can transport them as ingots with much better stack density. Alright, where's the middle? Something like that. Uh, 
and input output is going to be pretty straightforward. Actually, something I haven't considered yet. Can we do... Bulk Rail Unloader. Plus... Pump? Probably not. Maybe. Oh, hello. Possibly. I'm guessing the answer is yes. Uh, let's do a cheap fluid wagon. And just some void pipe down here. Bit of power. And what's this? Crude oil? Sure. Uh, yeah, the pumps are connected. Why is this not... Oh, I'm copy-pasting the bulk rail loader. Yeah, we can we can do that surprisingly easily. Uh, so we could definitely have both of these two inputs coming from this from one stop. Is Pyroflux rare? Uh, I think it's probably not rare if we go to a Vulcanite planet. Pyroflux. Uh, for one thing, we get it. We get more of it from uh, Vulcanite core fragments. Actually, we only get four. Twenty Vulcanite core fragments gives us four Pyroflux. It's the same amount. Vanilla core fragments or Vulcanite core fragments, discounting the fact that we get some vanilla core fragments out of this. I wish it would give us percentages here. Um, but I'm guessing Vulcanite, yeah, Vulcanite block plus sand for some reason? I thought Vulcanite blocks were solid. Well, we throw sand and Vulcanite blocks in a chemical plant, and we get 20 pyroflux. We get like 10 pyroflux per vulcanite block, not counting prod modules. And vulcanite block itself is a bit more complicated than it used to be. We need crushed vulcanite and enriched vulcanite, vulcanite, water and petroleum. Uh, vulcanite itself. Wait, what? So, vulcanite plus pulverizer equals three crushed, ten percent enriched, twenty-five percent stone, and then don't tell me there's the there's like a cover X like process for this as well. One enriched makes four enriched. Ten crushed becomes four crushed. One sulfur is lost and we gain sand sometimes. So yeah, we've basically got a different cover X setup uh, for making enriched vulcanite. Uh, and then we also need petroleum to make vulcanite blocks. Everything is, not everything, but a lot of stuff is a lot more complicated. Especially early on. Oh no, those new recipes, right? SE is Coverex all the way down. I actually saw the Coverex recipe for SE in particular. And I was like, oh cool, we can make a simpler smart uh, cover X system because we can use stone as a signal to say that we've finished the recipe 
I'm surprised how long... Okay, I'm not that surprised how long these steel pipes are taking now that I look at the fact that I haven't rebalanced this belt. But actually, we're running out of steel shockingly quickly. I'm going to make a mod when I join game, I win? What? It makes steam and vulcanite planet... Uh, is waterless? It is, in fact, waterless. This is all kinds of exclamation mark, fun exclamation mark. Alright, uh, I think... I think we're putting the molten recipes on the back burner for now. But I'll, uh... I'll blueprint this just in case I want to look at that again at some point. Wait, where is this? Oh, that's fine. Oh, it's actually about time to finish the stream for today. Wow. Uh, time flies when you're designing, I suppose. Luckily, we didn't get overrun by biters? Question mark? No, I think we are actually at the point where, for now, we're pretty safe. Since we pushed the purple... Uh, the, 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 the spawners and the fast biters back. Um, and the nope. regenerative biters are really, really not a threat. As far as attacking the base is concerned. They're so much more difficult to remove, but... As for threats to the base, not really... This laser turret has zero kills, so nothing has come this way. At all. I don't understand, actually. Like, okay. Here's our pollution cloud. It's recently expanded up this way. That nest is actually getting polluted. Should probably deal with that. But, putting that aside. Like, this was our pollution cloud for the longest time. We took all of this territory all the way up here, built some walls, and then we've got biters attacking, 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 attacking. You can see how far back we've killed off their nests to, to stop them from constantly attacking these walls. But this. This does not provoke... An attack? Really? Nothing? Maybe they're all going, like, this way. For some reason. That could be it? You, you would think something would path down this way. Well, whatever the case. Uh, let's save for today. Thanks for stream. Thanks for hanging out, Blue Lightning. Let's see who's streaming some Factorio. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with... Uh, Calamity in Terraria. I was going to spend some time off stream making nice builds and fishing and things like this. But uh, I think it's the pirates are about to invade. And I haven't done that in this playthrough yet, so we're doing that on stream. Who's playing Factorio for today? Seems good. No biters, no complaints, indeed. Tumbling satellite? Fantastic. Diablo is on, but he's probably two seconds away from trying to wrap up. And if I raid him, he will be stuck forever. Uh, Tumbling is usually getting started after me, so why don't we pay him a visit? Or if not after me, then... Mostly after me. Yeah, he's been going 11 minutes. Let's, let's give him a nice surprise. 
thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're interested in that. If you have any questions, by all means. And uh, stay safe. Take care, Zavoxifol. Thanks for hanging out. Evil Pluck. Feldak, take care. Noafro, Agamor, see you next time. And Chucky as well. Alright, away we go. Take care, Sugan. Done, done, done. Hello, boy. Thanks, welcome. Oh, I must be watching myself now. <laughs>